up, hold up, right. hold up. This is what y'all paid for. This is my lifeblood. Box wrong, you John Doe, your spots blown like a foxhole, you're not dope, you're. Soros and Illmat, those were a cute few bars you tried, but Ill's a better rapper dead than you are alive. Not biz, he's not me, he's not grown, and we all know that I'm 5 fo but if I roll to Roan's crib, then Roan's getting 5 0 in three rounds, you're getting 5 0, you rap fast, you could die slow. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Around the Bar. Today, we've got the living legends in the building, the Source and Ill Immaculate. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank Cheers. You for Cheers, us, dude. Bro. Thank you for coming yeah, out yeah. here, man. Um, happy to be here, Doug. Real easy trip down. Is it so? Is it is it is it crazier that after twenty years, battle rap is still going, or that you guys are still friends? Which one is like the craziest? Battle well, rap. battle rap is still going. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, is, let's that start part with the certainty. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think battle rap probably. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've made so many like lifelong friends in the community over the years. Yeah. But the fact that it's still growing and evolving and like you could make the case that is probably like yet to peak. We're, we're like continuing to see a new peak for it being set constantly. Is yeah. kind of what it is. You know, it's it's real insane to me. If you would have told me twenty years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. Yeah. No, I, I can imagine. I mean, I think even as a spectator, because I've been watching, I've been watching Battle Rap. Probably the the age old story. I watched One Hundred Six in Park, saw Jen's run, and I thought no one in the world can beat Jen. Oh yeah. And then I saw him get dismantled twice, and I was like, yeah. who are these guys? Yeah. And then you Sirius know, Jones. Yeah, yeah, Sirius Jones, I Iron. think Iron. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's that was my introduction, and then from then on, I found grind time. It was over. Super I mean, dope. yeah, just and and it's it's wild. Uh, how how many how many like uh, celebrities or or people that you wouldn't expect to watch battle rap watch oh tons tons it's like so random too a lot of athletes for sure which i guess probably makes a lot of sense but in the entertainment industry in general so many random ones that happen yeah. i remember a few years back i was like a, a guest or a, a coach a rap coach for the tv show drop the mic uh, yeah. Okay. Where that, where that Method Man hosted with uh, mm -hmm. Haley Bieber. And was Twist writing on it at that yeah, time? Yeah, Kid Twist was one of the, yeah. he was like the head writer for the show, basically. And then okay. they hired like a handful of battlers to be the coaches. They had a couple of beatbox coaches who were there to figure out the tempo of whoever the celebrities are. And the majority of the people that I coached were either familiar with battle rap in general or like knew me specifically or friends of ours specifically that yeah. was so wild. I remember the first person I coached was Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray. Okay. That's I crazy. just want to fly. And he comes into the room. We're like, we're like, yo man, we're uh, like, this is your beatbox coach. I'm your, your rap coach. And as soon as I say, I'm your rap coach, he's like, yo, what's your name? I know you. And I'm like, <laughs> Uh, maybe you know, I go, I'm like, I go by thesaurus. He's like, Oh yeah, I have a hundred percent. I've watched your battles on YouTube. And I'm like, like really? What? He's like, yeah, man, I love battle rap. And he goes, J and to like seal the deal for me, he goes, who's the crazy fucker with the face tattoos? And I'm like, you mean daylight? daylight? <laughs> and he goes, I love daylight. Like, super serious. I'm like, you're this like, is so random. Why. Never would have met like things yeah. like that, that you're like, how, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, the reach that we have and the, yeah. like, the content's just like touching all corners of the world in some context or another. Oh, it's, for sure. It's so insane, man. Yeah. 100%. So, so to get to get like in because you guys basically are the generation one like you. I mean, even generation zero, I guess. Because we're. I mean, I mean, maybe it is. And that's what it seems yeah, like for me. But well, you guys, yeah. tell there was me. a generation before us. I think down there, mate, you can multiple two, like multiple two. the eighties. Yeah, there, you know, okay, back but, like you know, MC Shan, yeah, like, KRS and and, and such. 
And then I think the evolution into like the more competitive format was probably the wave directly before us, like Idea, yeah, Peace, Blaze, Blaze Battle Spell. Okay. Yeah, like so y'all didn't kind know. Kind of the Scribble Jam lineage. Exactly. Like where 99 when Scribble started. And at that point, like we were both still in high school. So it was a yeah. little before our time. But we were aware and like sort of, I mean, this was before I, I even had Juice met you. M Battle 98. 98, yeah, oh, was 98. at Scribble. Yeah, Scribble. Yeah. yeah. And that was that definitely before our time of being active. I think we fall into this sort of crazy sweet spot where it's we were right before the inception of YouTube. Okay. But we were impactful enough before the inception to where like we had our notoriety Your from the community. Grandfather did. But exactly yeah, before okay. the YouTube inception happened. And then so when that happened, we were sort of really finding our footing it i mean youtube was 05. oh six uh, oh well late oh five oh six yeah yeah like and mid then mid -05. first and wrc my, was oh six i won my first battle in oh one yeah like 15. jesus and you won, and you won scribble oh four right 2001 yeah okay but, so so Ch chess kind of blew up uh four years ago after queen's gambit chess so, is popping so i assumed I thought you were talking about the battle rapper first. No, no, no. Apple, been around. Go check your facts. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> Where are we at? <laughs> That's funny. No, no, no. Uh, because of Queen's Gambit. Yep. Uh, yeah. And I, I kind of assumed that battling, you know, 8 Mile probably had that. Oh, for sure. There was definitely a boom. But you guys pre- I equate it because as a poker player, we had the online poker boom. The cr like we call money it the Christmas, the money maker boom. Yes. Oh, three. So the parallel to that, it for battle rap to me would be the eight mile boom because yeah. once that happened, like venues, especially in towns that already had like a sort of hip hop community or a scene, they now realize there's a lane that can be filled and like, hey, we can throw events at these venues. We can like, you know, make money off the bar. We can turn it into a profitable thing for everybody. Yeah. Next, think like think after. about if you combine them and them and Chris Moneymaker. Wow. You get you get Mercules. <laughs> 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 Shout out Mercules, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the homie. Man. I've known <laughs> so Mercules I started since he was playing 14. Poker in 03 too. That's crazy. Yeah, I started fresh out of high school. Basically, we had like a small local room, and then my buddies and I would just have like home games, and then we tried to get into the local room and noticed they wouldn't cart us. And so you got in. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. So it's been. Uh, I thought I thought poker was like. Something in the last couple of years. Oh, no. oh, it's from I've, day yeah, one. Yeah, I've been playing. Yeah, I had like the WSOP like DVDs. Like it was, it became like a scribble jam obsession at one point because I had all the VHSs and DVDs before ever even dreaming of competing in scribble jam just on some fan shit. And then poker, it's like the same thing. I was collecting like oh three. I think I had, was. It? Oh, two. Dan Harrington had a run in yeah. 02, or was it during 02 the money or 03? Yeah. yeah, it was literally the year after. Well, okay, so Dan Harrington final tabled the year that, Moneymaker won. Okay, that's And then thinking. final tabled again the next year. He got like third and fourth back to yeah, back years, insane. which is just but, nowadays would never happen. The fields are so massive, it would never happen. <clears throat> so I, I'm sure you guys answered this a hundred times, but what at what point in your life were you like, yeah, I want to compete in rap? Like, I, that seems like it's it's not common. I think, especially back then. Like I first started wanting to be involved when I was in high school. I came from a real small town in in California, right next to Pebble Beach, like very small town, like super sheltered community. But there was a weekly That's thing. Shit, man. Where at? What up, Pacific Rep Grove? Shit. <laughs> Rep Pacific, <your> shit. <laughs> Pacific <laughs> Grove, California, right next to the Pebble Beach. First, first, first Awakenings, Awakenings yeah, man. best restaurant ever. <laughs> it's so fire. <laughs> Great food town for sure. But we had like a small scene with some guys who were a couple grades up from me who did a weekly thing called Freestyle Friday. And okay. it was just people would meet up at like a local outdoor spot. Someone would bring a boom box with a tape full of instrumentals. And people would just gather around and rap all night. Freestyle. And it sort of picked up momentum in town to the point that a local coffee shop was like, yo, if you guys have turntables, we'll host this for you every Friday. Right, and right. so it became a local thing. I would just go and like watch my homies and be like, man, like I was sort of probably like a closet rapper at the time. I was like, one day I'm going to get up there and do it. And meanwhile, I'm at home like freestyling Freestyle. over the outcast <laughs> aliens instrumentals like <laughs> yes. hours on end. And then one day I was just like, all right, I'm just going to get up there we'll and see it. what's good. What year was that? 
Three? Oh, oh, one, oh, one? Oh, something okay, like that. Yeah, Maybe yeah. 2000, even 2001. Like was it Tourette's? No, this was in Monterey. Oh, in yeah. This in was local. before I had battled or anything. This was literally no, I just. I your first battle. My oh, my first was... battle battle was actually at uh, my college. Mm. Like, oh, two. Some random guy. Yeah. And y'all just well, there was it. like a tournament for uh, a prize and like a shore mic, actually, super fun. It was like for 500 bucks and like a shore stage mic. Okay. And so there was like 32 MCs that were, and I ended up winning it. Um, you won your first battle. Yeah. Your tournament. Your yeah. one first actual like organized battle tournament. Yeah. <laughs> That's but the, the sword, like, so from from my perspective too, like, I was familiar with everyone in the scene at that time. Like, I was such a fan of battle rap and just engrossed. And then this fool like came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like yeah. all of a sudden on like all the forums, people were quoting crazy bars. Like, you know, there's there's so many like. <laughs> He's gonna say Makai Pfeiffer. Uh, Mackay, you know, you look like Makai Pfeiffer after sticking his, his face in five diapers. <laughs> but see, the thing was, is like at that time, uh, yeah, everybody would always do the like, you look like Dave Chappelle on crack. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but then yeah, yeah. I started seeing these quotes that were compound rhyming with the comparison, yeah. which was like really rare or, you know, dare I say, hadn't been done with such intention. No, definitely at least not. Yeah. prior to yeah. that. It was like a and, new layer and, being added. And, uh, yeah, it was a new layer onto the comparisons where you're sandwiching like this compound right, right next to the thing. So it's like... Uh, you should with the James look like Shug- oh, on eight eight James Vander- a tweak. <laughs> yeah. And, yes. and, and so I started seeing all these quotes and it was just out of nowhere. Like there was no bad footage yeah. to go off of. And I'm like, who is yeah, this there was, guy? There was like, no all rough. The, yeah, all the boards were like that. Like I remember just reading quotes on quotes first before ever even from the dude, rap music. Like, even this guy board. come from? I mean, even yeah. now, like a lot of art, when you go back and you watch the early stuff, it's like, damn. We've come a long way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, dog, when you go back and watch, you don't even have to watch. If you just go to a 2v2 from you guys and just read the comments, everyone's quoting you guys. Oh, yeah. it's, it's Even weird. even both of you guys, is, like, 1v1s on Scribble Jam, like, preparing to say goodbye to Larry the Cable Guy <laughs> is fucking insane. <laughs> that is insane. How often are those, like, like to just go into the, the nitty-gritty of the, of the process... How many lines ahead are you guys during in those days? Back then, I was probably thinking four to eight ahead of Fuck. everyone else. That's like, insane. What? I, not me. Like that. Not you. I, I'm for one. Like he, I have an he's always had a better memory than me. Okay. And my memory, I have the memory of a goldfish, and so like <laughs> I'm just trying to That's, remember that can't be what true. I want to finish the that, line that, for. That cannot be true. That's well, so cap. It, it I is, mean, he, but it isn't. Like it, I guess maybe in your I can community. remember large. I can remember like. Obviously, I memorize large bodies of right. material, three minute, four minute, five minute, sometimes Chunks. seven minute rounds, <laughs> yeah. you know, at one time. But like, I can't quote lyrics from my favorite song, or it's like I have to re memorize my own songs before a performance. Yeah. Like, it's almost like my, I have a, a finite amount of hard drive space. So when yeah. I memorize yeah. a new round, I lose <laughs> yeah, something. Something's got to go. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So, so, but I've always kind of been like that. So for me, it's always just been like, what am, what's the line that I'm saying right now? Like, yeah. how am I finishing this? And there's so many times I, I can tell, and I'm sure it's even obvious that even, like if I had some premeditated lines that I'm just like would say the setup, forget where they're where I'm going with it, or even like look to him like how what was my idea for this? Yeah, you know, to, and like going up like that, like I, I it was really hard for me to to think two lines ahead. Yeah, you know what I mean, I I'm just had to focus on what I'm saying now, and yeah, then yeah. once I say it, then it's like, oh shit, now what? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> now why I'd have, what? Now I'd have. That's why I'd have, have all these crutches that would be like, and you know, it doesn't yeah, even and it doesn't, matter. Yes. And then, it doesn't, or it or doesn't the, matter. In, in Scribble Jam, it was. I, I'd also have. But a, anyways, anyways, <laughs> when I something. Da, 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 anyway, like it, each damn near each battle for a while, I'd have like a different crutch. Yeah. You know, when I come through. Uh, and then I would remember or, you know, say a bullshit yeah. filler line. To Everybody start has out. one of those. Yeah. And like, all I know is that. Yeah, yeah. The staple for sure. It's just when you're sort of like autopiloting your way. Trying to figure out the next exactly. line. Exactly. Yeah. All I know is that for yeah. sure. Logic, yeah. Logic would spell his name. L-O-G-I-C-I. And then go into... <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember watching <laughs> L O G I C I could again, and then I'm like, oh, okay, that was his filler. That, that, that's that's how he knows. That's fire though, because it's educational, you know. <laughs> it, it teaches people how to spell it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sir, and you're shouting out perfect. yourself, which is a good like. That's probably better than an actual. Yeah, ideas was like, like R.I.P. the goat, by the way. Facts. But our ideas was like when I grabbed the mic. He had a couple. Like he'd say oh, yeah, when I grab the through, mic, grab the mic, grab the mic, and I'm straight a minute or how, whatever it would be. It's grab the mic, and yeah, I, and then you know whatever yeah. filler to get to the the punch that came later. But yeah, that is insane. I, I don't know. I, I just can't comprehend because I lo obviously I love the written era. We'll talk about the written era for a lot, but for sure. uh, you know. We're having you guys both here, we got to talk about the early stuff. Oh, yeah. And to me, that's like the golden era, too. Yeah. So that's I, as happy as I am with the direction things have evolved. Like the freestyle over beats era was still like my bread and butter. Oh, over beats. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that was the format where I felt the most untouchable for sure. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to steam. Like there's a competition here and it's this format over beats. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the final four. Like, let me know there's how. The, some, let me know there's how something to be out. said for it. It's like, uh, you know, in the in the modern era, it's set up more like a UFC card. Obviously, you know, yeah. you have one matchup. You get to prepare for a month. Yeah. Um, ninety nine percent of the time, there's no winners determined. It's sort of like in the eye of the fan or beholder. There, there's consensus is reached every now and then, but in those eras, there was this this certain element of gamble. A certain element of like you put it on the table and there's one winner. One yeah. winner. There's one one thirty two yeah. men walk in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> one, one gets out. Yeah, exactly. Straight and, up. And, and and so there was something there was a little extra with that. Where, yeah, absolutely. Where yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I beat, you know, eight people today or four people yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. I'm, I'm the only one that got That's, paid. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, know, the only, <laughs> I'm the only one who got paid. Facts, though. Facts. I mean, I can, what was those what were those days like? I mean, y'all were what were they two day battles or one two day tournaments or one day tournaments? There would be both. But most like of them the were big, one day. The big, Rainstorm big stuff was like two days. I want to say scribble was day. scribble was the prelim. So if you didn't qualify for the main scribble battle, it was two days. Or if you pre qualified, a lot of the time. yeah. Or a, like a pre qualified one, it was all in one day. Yeah, <laughs> he did like sixty four. <laughs> he did eight bat nine battles in a day. To nine win. battles yeah. to win. A thousand dollars, but inflation. Be but like, it, yeah, that's be gotta like, be you know seventeen yeah, k right now. <laughs> but no, I can't imagine. I mean, I can't even. Do you think? Uh, what, uh, I was also like seventeen. You know how many gigapets I could have copied that? <laughs> that's time. so true. <laughs> how many? That was the crazy thing when he won the first Scribble Jam. Was like he's not even eighteen yet. What's going on right yeah. now? It was so wild. You're just battling thirty year olds. Yeah, grown ass men like Saying. Swan, like grown ass Swan. Just <laughs> <laughs> dude was a big dude. You know what I'm saying? How many of the? How many? Uh, how many pre writtens do you have in those? It's not. It's mostly like, like two line or two or yeah. It's not even like pre like premeditated. Yeah, it's mostly yeah. just ideas. I mean, it's impossible to shut your brain off in that setting. You're observing everybody pacing around. Yeah. Ideas are just gonna come to your head. For sure. The thing is. A lot of it is like up to your own retention. You could be sitting in a practice area and theoretically come up with two rounds worth of stuff in your head. It doesn't mean that all those things are going to still stick. exist yeah. when you get to the stage. <laughs> yeah. Once you get on stage and see the audience in front of you, and especially peak scribble, we're talking eight, 10,000 people or and, something like and that. And it's on beat. And it's over a you beat. Don't, so you yeah. don't necessarily so you know have to the, conform. The, the you don't beat. know what the instrumental is going to be, so you have to then – cut and paste it to a tempo but by the end like in any given sort of brainstorm session maybe five percent of what you've thought of is going to actually end up like coming out on stage yeah unless you think of like a real haymaker that you can't forget but more often than not it's like okay let's try to have a strong line to start off to sort of win the crowd onto my side and then we're going to take it from there. Or I'm going to rebuttal things that mm -hmm. they did. To, you know what I'm saying? To, the like, real secret sauce. Because the freestyler is done. So we yeah. can reveal, reveal yeah, this Yeah, of now. course. But the real secret sauce was because, like, I wouldn't go to the venue with any material. Because you don't know who you're going to battle. Right. You don't know anything. But basically, to typically, the if you have, say, even just 16 MCs, whatever, 99% of... Uh, 
tournament freestyle tournaments work the same way, where it's like a bracket. Yeah. So and you so it's all pairs of two. So you if attention. I if 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 me and Thesaurus battle or say I battle somebody random in the first and then the next battle I can deduct. I'm going to if I know I won my battle, I can deduct. I'm going to win. Say I'm going first too. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we're starting at the top. So then the next people that battle, if I know I won, I can deduct. I'm going to battle the winner. The winner of, of, the winner of that. Yeah. So I, I'm all you always pay and sometimes you would get lost in it. So like sure. I would get I would lose who before I don't know if I'm going to battle the person before me or after me. I forget yeah. how many battles happen. Then I would like try to count how many battles until I see a familiar face again. And then it's like, oh, okay, so there was three battles ago, so we would have, okay, so I'm battling this this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then, the, and also, when you're there, even if you're not, you know, bracketed to where you know I'm battling him next, you automatically identify threats when you're For at sure. the room. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. the room. So you're, so you're thinking of lines actively, just pacing. It's like a bunch of, like, it would be <laughs> so weird at a battle, like, looking at it objectively, like, because you got the crowd, you got beats playing, you all, all the stuff between battles, and then you have like a stable of nervous people pacing just back and pacing. forth on the side, and like, just and everyone's doing multis. the same thing. Yeah, it's we're like just trying to think of like ours. a pride of lions at a zoo, <laughs> where they're just knowing they're about to get put cage. in the ring. Yeah, exactly. yeah. you know, it's, it's it was such a like intense energy, and everybody is of the mindset of I have to win this to accomplish the goal like yeah. i have to win this whole thing all yeah. to accomplish the main goal it's such an intense energy it really is y'all miss so, it yeah i do for sure i mean what i don't miss is the winner take all element because okay like there's so much work that like so much leg work goes into even getting to the final four of tournaments like that yeah. and then like the, the instances of walking away with nothing was kind of brutal so the way things are set up today to where now we can like book and pay each other as artists. Yeah. Is, that's the the best evolution for uh, sure. Also then most battles you never saw it because there wasn't YouTube because and yeah. it's like most you know $500 car show battle over here that yep. I won or this thing over here like no one's ever going to put that out. No one's going to pay to yeah. get that made into a DVD. Yeah. No one's going to put it on YouTube. So most of that is kind of just lost. So how know? many battles do you think you've won that you'll never see? Oh, that I mean, damn near the majority. Sure. Like, yeah. well, not really? even damn near. Sure. Definitely. So, like, I go to Verse Tracker, right, which is a website. Shout out Verse Tracker, facts, and 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 Rap Grid as well. Uh, but they're like archived. It's like yeah. a battle rap YouTube essentially, right, right. where you can go and look up any battle. They have battle rap news, whatever, whatever. But Verse Tracker specifically will do stats, how many battles, average yeah. views that this guy has, da da da. And I'm like, this ain't even accurate because <laughs> I have like it's probably. At least seven to ten x these ba the battles that I've done, yeah. but there's just no foot like the yeah. footage is just lost in in the ether. It's on some guys like you know old tapes in their garage exactly. or yeah, a hard yeah. drive or whatever you know. Yeah, like a VHS camcorder and shit. I mean, I have the 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 run that I went on alone just at Tourette's Without Regrets. It was a monthly thing that took place in Oakland, and I set the record win streak. That I won like eleven. It was a monthly thing. I won eleven straight months. <laughs> And that alone, that means five battles per event. That's, yeah. So that's 55 just there. Plus, and maybe a dozen of those have seen the light of, like the, the, the dozen best battles that I've done there have seen right. the light of day. And I was also battling there for a couple of years. It wasn't just that one run. I probably have at least 100 just unreleased battles from Tourette's alone yeah. because I was so active, just like... There was so much groundwork being put yeah. in. By, and that's for tons of people from our region, too. Like, you could say the same for the majority of the Bay Area guys. Because we were also all battling each other on a regular basis. So we're constantly, like, sharpening each other's swords by going against yeah. probably the best, like, highest level talent pool in the country at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I mean, like I said, the the talent, the just the, the amount of multi-syllables. I mean, y'all are doing four four syllable freestyling freestyle too, rhymes was... sometimes five which is like unhurt i mean some people can't even write that i don't know i don't understand i i can't comprehend for, how you guys for, did it for me and and i feel like it's mutual but uh 
there was it's a it's a funny quote it, it's your boy uh diabolic <laughs> uh, but I, I don't remember i feel like someone told me and i didn't even see it or whatever but i remember somebody telling me uh someone being like oh like the way like something about your multi-syllabic rhyme structure and like he's this like new york old, you know all that and he's like Motherfucker, you mean rapping? <laughs> and, like, yeah. and I'm like, that. Yeah. Like, for me, yeah. I can't. Like, it's like, it, it, theoretically, you would think it'd be easier to do a simple rhyme structure oh. freestyling, right? Yeah. But it, w- it wouldn't. It's like, harder I for can't. A, my brain I is think trained. in those terms. Yeah. Like, I can't not do I, it. I even don't. At my own detriment. Fr- I freestyle for fun, and yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I can't rhyme cat with hat yeah, or yeah. dorm. There's mat so with, few who do yeah. it effectively, like straight up. There are, especially in the battle world, there are so few like rappers in general that do single syllable rhyming actually well and effectively. I, I think you know some of the best yeah. can kind of do both because you, they can throw two, three, four, uh, and then also, but also not be married to that. Like, yeah. I feel like I box myself in. Like, for one, I, I'll be honest, like, I don't freestyle for fun anymore. Like, no. It's not yeah. fun. Like, for me. It, unless it's the right situation with the right people, yeah. like I yeah. used it's to, like I spent thing. I spent years of in my room by myself, either flipping through a magazine, freestyling to a beat, like dissing anyone I would see, or <laughs> using objects or words I would see in a magazine, yeah. or having the TV muted, playing a beat, and just freestyling about anything what's on the screen. Yeah, I, was, I I did all that, and that and that was like for this like c- driving a competitive spirit, and um. When I first started, like I, most people, I feel like the classic story you hear is I would freestyle at parties or, or battle or whatever. And then that's how I got into rapping. That's how I started making music. I realized yeah. it was fun. It was, me, it was the opposite. Yep. Like I, before I started rapping, I wanted to be a writer. I wrote poetry. I did all this. And then the homies, shout out Deshante, like the, this fool specifically was like, you should rap. And I was like, no, no, no. And then till, till finally I did, but I was obsessed with the writing. And that was something I always, so I I was writing and recording songs. Like I wrote my first rhyme when I was 11. My first battle was when I was 15. And so I was already recording music. I was trash at freestyling. Like I yeah. have low key the opposite, you know, how his origin is, is like training freestyle and coming out amazing. Yeah. My first battle was at a real event, I had only freestyled when I got the flyer for the event because I was getting into punchline stuff, and yeah. and coming out in my first battle being terrible. I won, but it was terrible. Like it was yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, it, it's what it is what it is. But it was almost just like getting you know throwing myself out to the wolves. I told all my friends and family don't come because they all wanted to come to sport. I said no, no, I'm gonna please. get my ass whooped. Yeah, yeah, I need just let me do this by myself because yeah. it's gonna be bad, you know. And I happened to win, but it was one of those like underdog. Oh, the little kid! It's crazy, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, like yeah. I probably lost two battles that night, you know, but I still won like the, the whole thing. The J Jack effect. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Without the like, you know, uh, looking young disease. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> young disease is crazy. So, the, are you want you want some more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the J Mo. Yeah. Uh, so what was Angel's Beth? What was the <laughs> what was the uh, uh, your family's reaction to you guys wanting to battle or to rap in general? My mom's always been super supportive. Okay. She's like, she's had my back beyond anything I could even have like ever expected. It was, I mean, I've taken, I've chosen some pretty like unconventional paths in what I wanted to do in life. And my mom has you're always had my Vegas. back. If you're ever in Vegas. If you're ever in Vegas. Seeking him for anything. <laughs> but this she always. Guy. He's your guy. She, I mean, she doesn't necessarily like understand the the nuances of the scene and whatnot. But she yeah. was like, "This is something you're passionate about. You you clearly love it, and people clearly love you doing it. Okay. Make it your thing." So like, you're never is... you never sparring with mom, like no, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, she would walk like when I would be in my room, like in my zone and whatnot. I'm sure she would be outside the door, probably eavesdropping. Yeah, and whatnot. yeah, yeah. But like it, I, I think she it came from a real supportive place from the beginning when I was really like. I remember I took a trip to Europe. I like backpacked through Europe after the year after I graduated high school with three of my friends. And she was sort of like, okay, well, like while you're on this trip, try to take some time and figure out what you want to do. 
Yeah. And on that trip, literally everywhere we we went, we were just like train hopping and freestyling in all of these cities, just like me and three of my boys. So when I got back, I'm like, I'm all in on this. This is so what like, I want to do. And she was like, that's what you realized when you were gone for six weeks? <laughs> when well, you like, were gone. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all in on, on this is what I want to pursue. Like, I'll, I'll go to school and, like, you know, I'll enter some college courses and try to formulate some sort of a backup plan. But even within a year, I was just like, no, I'm all in on this. Like, yeah. And she was like, okay, if that's how you feel, like, I have faith in your abilities. Like, yeah. I hope you can make it work. And That is insane. I'm, I feel like I'm super lucky to have, like, uh, yeah. just an understanding enough support system. You know what I'm saying? My dad, it was probably a completely different universe for my dad to understand. He's much more old-fashioned conservative, but... Yeah, moms. I was like, she, moms raised me for the most part, anyways. And yeah, she was basically like, "Look, if you're passionate about it and you think you can turn it into what you want to do, I got faith in you. So there's no reason you shouldn't." I'm just, well, shit. Uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's go. I'm <laughs> Preparing all in. to say goodbye, and then you just, and then it's just yeah, multi, 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 and <laughs> <laughs> from then on out. Yeah, I don't need like all she wrote. I've always, <laughs> I guess, I've always seen things very pattern based it's probably right. like a it's probably some ocd ish type of thing but that's just it's always felt very natural to me like having things fall into sequence like that it's like my early influence was were like gift a gab from black alicious crooked eye black thought guys like that who were like cro when i first heard crooked eye that changed everything for me i was like that's what I want to be doing. Yeah. Like, I knew what I was doing at the time. I was like, I want to be sharp like that. Yeah. That's insane. So I just delved into like everything crooked I could find, which took me down like the wake up show rabbit hole. And I started discovering all kinds of like more underground MCs and was like, oh shit, this is like an actual world. This isn't just, there's not just a, one or two guys doing this. There's actually like a whole world out there. And then just as much as I could absorb, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's I got I got in the underground late and it relates to like even the family support because my both my parents were were always uh supportive like our you know when I said hey don't my mom wanted to come to the battle the first yeah, one yeah. and I was like please don't and I'm like no one you know and <laughs> yeah. dad same thing and again all the homies too like don't <clears throat> don't come you know yeah, yeah. shout out my boy Austin too my boy Austin Ripley he's he's the one who convinced me to do the first battle I ever did he gave me the flyer because I was getting in the underground and starting to write and like same sort of thing wake up show uh uh, crooked eye, like I just kind of discovered Gino idea and battle in the blaze battles, yeah. and, oh, man. and and I was just diving into that world, and and my writing was kind of reflecting that because from about eleven to fifteen, I was a gangster rapper. Okay, <laughs> yeah. uh, same, same, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah I killed as way most more. eleven year olds. Yeah, as most, you watch yeah. my battles. I killed and you, shot way oh, oh, more people. than in, than any of these battles yeah. from eleven to fifteen. Uh, like that was you had. Gun so big, yeah, yeah. 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 What was your first and, rap group then? <laughs> My first rap group was named Lyrical Militia. But the, the funny <laughs> thing about it was we weren't. No, actually, that's not true. Technically, it was me and Deshante, and we brought in the homie Bandaluck and Christian. Uh, Christian, but we never like really put the song together. But technically, my first rap group, and it's really just me and my best friend at the time, Deshante, was a. Uh, uh, Young Thugs. Yeah. Young Thugs. With a Z, no. obviously. With a Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, of course. with a Z. And my mom hates. She was always supportive, <laughs> but she's like, you're not a you're thug. Not a th <laughs> and I was like, you just wait. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> you haven't seen this Yet. first time, right? <laughs> yeah. I've shot um, five people <laughs> yeah. in these next three verses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she was definitely always like, why are you so violent? <laughs> but, uh, but she was always supportive. And then when it came time to battle and everything, um, they supported by not coming and, yeah. and you know, per my request, <laughs> your I, re I remember yeah. that yeah. I, right after I won, I, uh, used some, cause this is before I had a cell phone and I used someone's phone and called my mom. I'm 15 and I just want a thousand dollars, which again, inflation this time, yeah, it's yeah. probably like whatever, five to, <laughs> you know, 10,000 at the time. And I'm a little ass kid. Yeah. So I like called with a grand. Yeah, is different. That's way 35 different. with yes. a grand. It was a huge, it was like 2000 people there. It was like, you know, all elements. So there was a DJ battle, a breakdance battle, oh, okay. like graffiti. It might not have been a battle. I think it was like an expo or whatever. They were selling pieces and all this stuff. Awkward the was online. there who I didn't even know. 
Oh, really? Yeah, the footage is yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, like, shout out a, Virtue. It's he a popping it. crowd. And he was the coach of was your the first host. battle. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh it's wow. 2001. Wait, uh, Mihe, can you find it? It's wild. Well, what would we have to look up? <laughs> Immaculate first battle. Oh, okay. That's yeah, I could have. I could have that. The channel I think is the homie Virtue who hosted. Uh, who hosted the battle, and and I think he uploaded it a few years ago. Immaculate first battle. Yeah. I'm wearing like a blue Hawaiian Sophie like button up, <laughs> and you're 15? and a similar haircut. I think. Yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, on YouTube, probably. Man's went to Google. Yeah, wait, where 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 are you going? I L L. Yeah, oh. yeah. Immaculate first battle, right there. Is um, that it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. top one. <laughs> the top one. Oh my <laughs> God. Drop that off. That's Matt Hatter, which is <laughs> Virtue's brother. But see the dude yeah, on the yeah. right, right there, yeah. all the way on the edge, kind of cut off. That's MC Virtue. Because I'm holding it down. Plus the gap so big, people want to shop in your mouth. Step to me. You need to exit my testicles and then check who you step into. Seeing this competition, yo, it's like I'm invisible to your vision. You ain't seeing me, I'm going out or busting. The only reason your style's called freestyle because it ain't worth nothing. Oh, shut, <laughs> shut him down. Hold on, pause it real quick. Oh, I lost that battle. This battle, <laughs> shut, shut, shout that out my boy. It's, it's label MC Lucky One, he goes by Hanif now, and like we became good friends after this. And um. And Damn. but like he's super solid, but he killed me this battle. But yeah, it was like the underground. It was the underdog effect. It kind of why I right. won it. You know what I mean? You're a 15. This was like the semifinals. There was a so this. All right, I don't want to get on too long of a rant yeah. about this, <laughs> but basically though, it, this this was set up uniquely because. Um, there was so many MCs. It was like either it was around like a hundred, it's like 80 MCs oh or something crazy, right? And so what they who signed up and what they did is at a, an, a venue called the Crystal Ballroom. And what they did was they said everyone comes up and raps for 30 seconds. And just by themselves. Like one at yeah. a time, they just call like we filled out a little three by you know whatever the little like speech note cards are with yeah. your name. They're like, yeah, put your alias down and you know city you're from or whatever boom I, I turn it in i go up and i like throw together some like pre-meds with, with generic punchlines like you heard who knows like got, wouldn't be sick if you got signed to the hospital or whatever <laughs> it was in the battle oh uh, yeah okay but there was it was lines like you yeah, yeah yeah you wouldn't rock the stage if you were the rolling stone yeah or, you know? <laughs> but i go up and i but i like kill it you know what yeah. i mean and and the crowd goes crazy and uh they they go through everybody else. It takes like a couple hours, I feel like, to get everybody up, give them a chance to rap, and then they picked sixteen MCs to like For do the, the battle okay. to actually do. So we everyone it was the freestyle round, and I didn't get called up. For the battle. And I'm just sitting there and everyone, I'm walking through the crowd hella pissed because they're calling up everyone. Yeah. A whole round where everyone had battled basically goes through. And every, and I'm walking through the crowd and everyone's like, why aren't you up there? I'm like, I don't know. I got robbed, man. It's my first <laughs> battle. I didn't even get to battle. Yeah. And then I'm like standing in the front and they're there. It's like the second round. And throughout this whole first round, they keep saying, MC alias. MC alias and no one's coming up. No one's coming up. <laughs> and that was and you. so then I'm in the front row or whatever, and the host is like, alias, it come up. And I was like, alias. <laughs> and I realized on the card I put like, you know, MC alias, colon, immaculate. Oh, wow. But the whole time they're just calling that's out alias. That is really alias. good. <laughs> that is hilarious. And so they they like snuck me in at the end of the round or whatever and then it, it was a wrap from there. But <laughs> MC <laughs> alias. And, wow. and then I find out years later talking about this battle that, that uh, the OG from Stockdale Awkwards was there and I didn't even know him um, personally at the time. I didn't know he was there. I feel like I had Maybe seen um, the Rock the Bells, or maybe that was O2 or Word. something like, uh, or not Rock the Bells, uh, uh, Rock Steady, yeah, the MC oh yeah. battle that he took second out or whatever. But yeah, it was sort of a formative thing. I talked about it recently because I shouldn't have won. Yeah, it was underdog effect, but like low key, that's what 
the reason I'm here now is because everyone hunger. said after that I shouldn't have won. Like on the forums, like uh, he only won because he was young. young. And then I was just like, say like, less. Watch. Well, now I got to prove it. Now it's, then it was, you know, you know uh, what, what year is it? It, it ain't a flu. Yeah. A 23-year uh, Rocky yeah. montage <laughs> <suit>. <laughs> you know? That's so good. Yeah, that's, that is, I mean, that is, it's crazy to see that foot, just even that still. I mean, that. I mean, that's a camcorder yeah, bro. in the back Grainy. of a club. Yeah, with the oh, Echo yeah. logo in the yeah. <laughs> on the stage. Echo sponsorship. Yo. Dude, the, uh, the, the CEO here, uh, Hector, is big into script. He was big graffiti artist. And his, his, uh, his best friend was like, like, like. He probably knows my boy Jabs. Like a famous graffiti art. Like uh, the guy, our guy who runs our merch right now was like a famous graffiti artist named Omens. Dope. And, oh, um, that's crazy. So he, they went to Scribble Jam all the time. Word. And so uh, I, I passed, uh, I passed him today, and uh, uh, he was like, "Who do you got on today?" And I was like, "Oh, actually, uh, both these guys have won Scribble Jam." And he was like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, one of them won Scribble Jam." Or uh, he was like, "What years?" And I, I think I, was, so one of you guys won 06, right? I did. He won yeah. 06 oh, and 04. I won 06, 08. 08 yeah. and 04. Yeah, 04. Um, so I was like, "Yeah, yeah, one of them won 06." <laughs> You brought him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, you know, I'll let you have these. He had to prove. He had to show me it was possible. <laughs> you know. And I told I, I told him about this, and he told me a crazy story, and I want to run it by you to know if it's real. Wow. He said one time he was watching a battle at Scribble Jam, and a dude whipped his dick out. <laughs> Maybe do so. I, I was just mad that I wasn't. Win- I was losing in 05. Yeah, did you ever apologize? <laughs> you were just mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You caught me. You that know. sounds entirely po- like realistic. Deuce yeah. Leader sounds like Deuce Leader. Candidate. Yeah. yeah. That fool jumped really? in the crowd and broke his leg. Oh, that was one, the f- one, that like was 03, the most insane moment of scribble. I, I wouldn't doubt what that. Happened? This dude, big, heavy set white okay. dude. He was battling Juice, who's one of the greatest right. battler, maybe the best freestyler of all time. I, I would probably. Say, in my opinion, my best freestyler of all time. Yep. Okay. Someone who to this day, no one wanted to battle at Scribble, especially in, in this era where he was just decapitating everyone. So this dude, Deuce Leader, who entered Scribble every year, and he was basically like <laughs> the token first round out, out kind of guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he goes he up against. He was like embodied the spirit. Like everybody yeah, people, still liked People him. loved yeah. his he heart. He a camera. He'd always like get. You know, interviews okay. with hip hop historian. Oh, I lost sound. Hey guys, before we continue the podcast, I just want everybody to know that we are on Patreon. That is how we are funding the show uh, from now on. So all the behind the bar episodes are moving over to Patreon. Those are all ready, uploaded, and available. We also have two other shows for for some patrons as well. One is the Coffee Bar, which is basically a weekly podcast with myself, and then we also have Relationships One Hundred and One which is an old classic that is coming back. Uh, we, ha- we have Discord access in there for Around the Bar you know, listeners, which is also offers early access to merchandise, uh, upcoming guest sneak peeks, and also some user-submitted questions. So if, we, uh, if, if you guys like the upcoming guests, you can submit your own questions. We have tons of other perks as well, um, and it's all listed down in the description. So any support would really mean a lot. It would help us, you know, get some other guests in and, and fly them down and drink and talk about stuff. So hope to see you guys in there and enjoy the rest of the podcast. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. That was perfect. it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay. So <laughs> deuce and deuce leader and juice get called to battle. Juice leader. <laughs> deuce leaders like spitting his first round and he's a big 300 plus pound white dude. Oh my God. And this is on a stage. It's a stage setup. Dude, the stage a- is like, a high so stage what, setup, six to eight feet, it, it, probably eight. Oh, feet. I would think there. eight foot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And Deuce Leader basically comes to the conclusion that he's not going to win the battle, <laughs> so he just goes, "I know I can't beat Juice, so fuck it. I'm stage diving. I'm stage." <laughs> the way he said, it. "I'm stage." Diving. Jumps off the stage, huge white dude. So everybody Everyone comes moves. away. <laughs> And he just breaks his femur. <laughs> just in the, in the footage, you see him like being like, oh like carried God. off on like oh a my stretcher. Brutal, <laughs> absolutely brutal. Yeah. That was a. F- I Classic. had to battle Deuce like uh, the year that I, the first year I won it too. Was uh, he was in like the he somehow made it to like the final eight or something like that. I thought he got robbed that year. He, <laughs> he got- appreciate you. That was the one where I said uh, so fat. Even when I'm not looking, I see John Goodman or something like that. Oh, Didn't you yeah, run I Deuce just, Leader and Two Seater? I did. Too? And Zookeeper. 
when it comes to like the the video game guys here, uh, especially the Halo community, the, I'm, I've always been uh, so kind of like uh, impressed in the fact that they can remember one game, one map from because they've been playing since 2002 from a, a series in 2004. That's insane. Too. And but you guys are kind of the same. I, I watched your uh, interview with with Pat Stay, you know, rest in peace. And um, and you were spitting off. You were rattling off bars that you said 19, 18 years ago. I, my, my 1918. 19, <laughs> 18, 18, 19 years ago. Yeah, the pre-gold rush. <laughs> the, gold, the gold era. <laughs> my definitely, like, one of my biggest strengths was always my memory. Always yeah. has been. I've always been able to sort of, like, I feel like... I write and prepare in like a sort of memory friendly way to begin with, but you still have to have the good memory to begin with to even like have like have a, a starting point there. Yeah, like, I couldn't just write the way I do and then just spout it off. Like it it, it has to come from didn't, somewhere. Didn't you say That's, like when you're in acting too, like scripts or whatever? Oh, I was such a quick study; it was insane. So when I like first went to junior college, I started taking theater classes just as an elective, and I was like, well, if I can get more comfortable on stage, right? This is a win-win. So I take a beginning acting class, and there was like th we're like three weeks into it we're doing group scenes together and someone fell out of the class so the teacher was just like hey uh, is there anybody who would be willing to step in and learn this part within like a few days to help this group out for the scene and i was like yeah i think i can do it and he was straight up was like N we don't usually do this for beginning actors like are you sure usually there's an advanced yeah because it's beginning and advanced actors working together in the course and then it's all student directors as well and I was like, oh, I feel like I have a pretty good memory. Like, I think I could do it. Just give me the script. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll see where we are. And I'm like fully off book when I come back the next day. Like, I know not That's only insane. my scene, but I know the script itself. Everyone, I know yeah, everybody's yeah. cue lines. So from that point, like the teacher was like, okay, you're going to, we're going to need you to stick around for yeah. a couple of semesters okay. here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, I realized like I was a real quick study. And then figuring out the tricks. So it's, it's like memorizing a script. The, the similarity to that and memorizing battle verses is it's all about the cue lines. You you want to you want to memorize your cue lines when you're memorizing a script because those are going to prompt okay. what you're going to say. So the equivalent to that when you're preparing for writing a battle is your segues, your transitional lines. You're going to you're going to know your punch lines. Those are your jokes. That's the meat of your material that you've come up with. But to stay in that pocket you have to like sort of have the, all the information has to lead in a certain direction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so it just became about like finding the similarities to create the shortcuts for myself, so to speak. Yeah. It's real wild. Yeah. It's always definitely been like my biggest strength. That's, that's, I mean, that's dope. That's gotta, that had to have made the uh, transition from freestyle to written era easy. Er, easier, easier for sure. I felt like at first the fr the transition was tough for me just because it was so different from what we were doing, and I was like so in my element over beats in this format of like, oh, I get to not only do I get to be in this format that I'm so comfortable in, I get to start every round rebuttaling the last thing you said yeah. to a beat and just completely taking the wind out of the person's sails. Whereas once like the acapella format came in. It was a little different. Then it was like, oh, okay, now I actually have to like sit and actively listen during their round for a moment that I want to flip on uh, its head. Okay. And then decide if I want to commit to it. Because you would, in those early freestyle battles, he would always, whatever you ended with, whatever the last like, rhyme boom. you said, he would repeat the last <laughs> line you said back and then like flip the rhyme And then flip, flip the rhyme scheme in a way that was better than what you did. So it, it was his secret power of always, like his, when he said his first line, he already rhymed better than you did on the stuff that yeah. you thought. The and then line. your whole round is and done. Then, and you're done. And now he's starting from a clean slate of like, he's yeah. already winning. It's his to lose. Yeah. Like that was a secret power. For me, I would I, in that way. This is why I think one one of the reasons we I feel like we've always we, we, that we are such a good team because for me it was the opposite. When it went to the written era, I felt it catered to my strengths more. Mm -hmm. You know, because again, I had 
I didn't start out freestyling. I was writing rhymes. I was focused yeah. on being a rapper and an artist for like four years before I even tried to freestyle. Okay. So when it went to the written era and I'm making music and all these things, I was like, now this is where I feel like I'm going to shine more, you know? Yeah. And, and so I, I, there's parts of me that were like miss the gamble of it and miss the like our yeah, one the person yeah, yeah. but also i feel like in the written era it caters to my strengths as an artist For even sure. more so than the freestyle yeah. era did because the one thing i used to always say that's that's the truth is like i used to cipher all the time parties whatever with the homies i love it and but my most intensive like training i would train in like 30 to one minute second increments so so a lot of the homies like shout out 90m only one that's like the homies in portland who i was freestyling with but then even like you know him the no can do no the awkward the franco they f just lush they would just freestyle free form and if you let them go they'll go for minutes at a time but yeah. because of my like battle rap format training like i if i have a target you know i oh oh see the orange county with the, you know like yeah. I, I i it's like i need a thing to prompt to it, it and then yeah. then i can put it together and it's like more short bursts and don't get me wrong there's every now and then i'd get especially in cyphers with the right vibe and the right homies where i just hit a pocket and go for a couple minutes whatever but for the most part my strength wasn't just raw freestyle ability for yeah. you know extended periods of time it was like more short <laughs> burst because that's how I trained of like okay if battles are done like this that's how I'm gonna practice yeah <laughs> and with a target yeah. so even I would never just freestyle by myself just I was always looking at something like I said the magazines or TV and using whatever I seen to like prompt the material yeah I think you also had like a leg up when the written era came around because like you said you were a writer first like before you became a battle rapper, even in the freestyle era. So you were more familiar with like content driven material as opposed to needing it to be catered towards a specific target. And when the written era and grind time era popped up, you had this whole wave of people coming in who were basically, they had learned to rap through battle rap. Whereas we learned to rap. Losers. We, 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 it's like Alex Trebek yeah, says. Alex about Trebek losers. The nerdcore, nerd yeah. nerd rap, the Alex Trebek. Oh, yes. Trebek and Prost, the best oh, of losers. all time. But it was That's like, uh, like right. when we got into battling, there was, uh, battling wasn't the end game in our minds when we started battling. Battling was... Uh, almost a catapult of a platform yeah. that was like, yeah, but if if we can get some notoriety here, then I can push this album, I can yeah, push yeah, this yeah. merch, we can do this tour. Right. There was a like a bigger picture, and then I can kiss a girl on the lip. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> how, how am I gonna get? That's always the biggest question of doing anything. How am I gonna get bitches yeah. doing this? Yeah. Do I do push-ups or freestyle? <laughs> you got freestyle. Free it is. <laughs> <laughs> Try the, push the meme. Try to push up. <laughs> freestyle. It freestyle. Is. It the is. meme of just the dude in the club yelling in the girl's ear. Which <laughs> just, like, yeah. you know what I'm but saying? you don't understand. His name was Cyanide, yeah. and this is how. Yep. <laughs> straight up. Yeah, it's just what, yo. When I straight up when I kick a flow, <laughs> <laughs> just in the girl's ear. In so girl's like ear. when the written era comes around, we have this whole wave of people who have been like inspired by the freestyle era and who have essentially been introduced to. The thought of them wanting to rap via battle rap. Yeah. Where, so then they're sort of behind the curve when the written era begins because they're they're only viewing things through that lens. Whereas it like is, someone yeah. like Ill was writing. I mean, even I was making music and writing before. Like we did tours and shit before yeah. the Girl written era. Tour. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like before the, the written era had actually taken place. So I think he had such an edge just understanding like actual content driven material that didn't have to come from like it, it wasn't based around the crux of a four bar setup to a joke about a specific person. Mm -hmm. He could build on these longer tangents. It could like yeah. create more you conceptual just soak it, You shit. soaking in all these compliments right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, oh, go on. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you mind passing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, so yeah. I, and, and I just always love when, when it went to that era, I also love, like, because in the freestyle era, 
everything is very like you're, you're coming up with clever stuff, but it's the stuff that I don't know you from a can of paint. We're in the same building. Right. I, I'm probably going to battle you. What are you wearing? wearing yeah. what are you, who could I say you look like? Exactly. What's the hat? What's the and that's all. That's kind of what you're limited to is right. just right. observational yeah. humor, sure. you know. But then when you get into written. All of a sudden, it was like your mind, yeah. the mind expanding. Like I could do anything. Yeah. I could do a concept round. I could do mm -hmm. this long. You know, <clears throat> I could take one rhyme scheme and build a concept or several yeah. jokes and punches that are all within the same thing. And then, so all of a sudden, like that's when I feel like, okay, you know, I came out of my show in a way. Yeah. You like started progressing. And you know? if you look back at like the early grind time, the, the first, especially like the first year of the West Coast introduction to the grind time shit, like he was doing things that just nobody else was thinking yeah. of and things that became staples for other people to do. Like our battle alone has multiple, the, that was me shit. There's, there's been so many different versions of that done since then. Yeah. He, I think showed people that there was so much more than just this box of, and that you got a battle where this person. I'm not rhyming. Like I'm just saying the same phrase. Yeah. At the end of every, that's you know, true. Right? Yeah. You're not rhyming. And, and, or even yeah, like I, the, I'm rhyming. That was me, but I'm just, so I'm yeah. saying a sentence the, that doesn't rhyme with the next one. And then ending it with that was that me. Was me. The, the, skin, na -na -na? the skinny that round to me. Tony madness, shit yeah. like that. Like you were thinking way outside of the box that everybody was like convinced they were confined to. Yeah. Everybody's look still thinking in terms of like face value freestyle battles <laughs> where he, he was just like, nah, it, it yeah. It ain't while, like that anymore. And yeah. while we're gassing each other <laughs> with straight truth, this is, and, and it's not just in the spirit of like, I want to gas him back, but yeah, like yeah. real shit though, why that I think is even true is because he was doing written battles just a little bit before me. Like, yeah. you know, you had battled Diz. Exactly. And, Dumbfounded. And, yeah, dumb, Madness. Or maybe Dumbfounded. Madness and same. Diz. Madness and Diz before I even stepped in. But... And Johnny but Storm. After Dub RCs, A, during 06, 07, that's when we won the World Rap Championships. Um, during that run, especially in 07, when everybody's seen what we did, he was the dominant force. Um, and bec again, because not strictly because, but the that secret weapon of what I was telling about the, the compound yeah. rhyme scheme being so back to back. What happened was, is that just avalanched and, and killed everyone in the first round to where in 07, when we we're the def defending champs, and now it's in eight cities across the world, uh, you know, London, Australia, uh, and then a bunch, uh, Toronto, um, and, and then, then a bunch of cities. In, yeah, yeah, five in the, like Atlanta, New York, Houston, Houston uh, Detroit. Yeah, the West Coast, LA, Detroit. Um, I don't know if there's one more. But anyways, at, when 07 hit, everybody rapped like him. Yeah. Everybody was, but that was didn't noticeable. stop in yeah. 07. Like, so then it was like chip on our shoulder. We got to prove that it wasn't a fluke. We can come back just as, and we end up winning, blah, 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 blah. But dub RCs really kind of, you know, what, what it showed people was it was the medium ground between the freestyle era show up, you don't know who you're battling and one person leaves, where now they announce everyone who's in the tournament weeks ahead of time. Oh. But it's still kind of like this, and it's acapella, but it's still sort of this, is it freestyle, is it not? People are rebuttaling, yeah. you don't and they know. Definitely... And there's people who f strictly freestyle didn't work out too well yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. And then like what we did was a, always a hybrid. And so for the most part, like we would have sort of like depending on the threat level of opponent, whatever, we'd have a couple ideas tucked. Like it right. became heightened in 07 because it, it was out now. Like, oh, this is a little bit more, you have a little bit more freedom. We know we're yeah. battling. It kind of, you know, escalated. But the thing was, is that sort of amalgamation of pre-med slash freestyle uh, is what was a big conduit to the written era For sure. of grind time. Right. Really grind time is the progenitor of modern battle rap is grind time. It's undisputable. Yeah, like, it's undisputable. Yeah. And 
and even you know direct uh has said who 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 brought grind time to fruition has said like yeah i was looking at i was looking at the dub rcs what the source and omac doing was doing i was looking at uh elements the elements Sleep league pat. what pat and what they were doing and they were kind of similar in that way of how is an amalgamation of freestyle and written, pat, written. like openly says what he was doing was directly a result of what we were doing too which yeah. is just i mean and and so fast forward this long rant to gas the homie yeah. is that <laughs> even then when it transitioned so 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 during 07 all the, it's like everyone's trying to do their best the source impression then grind time is right on the heels of that and everybody in grind time for the first <laughs> however many years was just trying to do what he did in 06 07 yeah oh, like that was the, you look like john candy if you you know your mom's great like yeah, whatever yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 that and and you know whatever gay jokes like but then yeah. it was like a, a weird distorted more forced version of what he does because because what he he doesn't waste the word you know what i mean yeah. like and, it, and it's concise and it means something where people saw a, a real genuine formula and tried to just just mimic that bastard and it. yeah exactly yeah. and and so the whole when the when grind time and the whole written era started like that really that was like the predominant style yeah, was, it was a like kind of a rubric. bastardized version yeah. yeah blueprint of what so it felt did. like and i was influenced by it too like but but we had sort of this connection to where you know what i mean like i got <laughs> almost got a pass in a way it's like no he was part of it like <laughs> you know I mean? but but then i started it because the freedom of the written air doing you know uh my own it had more creative freedom to do it you know, leading into yeah. the gas that he gave me. But that's real the real shit. It was only different because everyone was trying to do what he had already you done. You felt like you were battling time. him all the time. It, it like just fucking version. followed me everywhere. <laughs> I was like, I can't wait to stab this man. In the back. <laughs> Nothing's <funny>. changed. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's still, going, still, right going, no. still going still. strong. <laughs> Um, uh, we, we had planned, we had planned to do this pod for a while. Um, you know, but getting schedules lined up, but I had no idea that let's, let's, cause we've been rap nerding out or battle rap nerding out for yeah. a little bit. So let's get, let's surface level a little bit. There's a rap war going on right now in mainstream. There is. Ish. What? Ish. <laughs> it's one sided as of now. Well, kind of, I don't know. What, what, what is a mainstream diss track battle rap? like for a battle rapper like what is it is it still hype i leave with this drake was talking about the hanzo blade he, <laughs> he's a fan of battle rap <laughs> we met in toronto what year was that oh seven oh, or no no oh, 11 oh, 11 no no oh, 11. 12, 2012 2012 oh, and he paid his homage he knew what time it was he was the coolest guy it was his honor is what he said. It was crazy. We all know where that Hanzo Blaze stays, man. <laughs> you better delete it. It's been 24 hours. It's deleted off your star. You knew what was right. <laughs> you know it's, what? it's already gone. Yeah, all right. I had to make sure. That's all, I, that's all I wanted to say about that. I feel like in general, <laughs> we're always, get, like, battle rap community is probably always going to be more critical for sure, which makes sense. But probably because of that, usually less impressed overall even when it's like a really great diss it's yeah. sort of on some like ah well i've heard this version of that line like we're always going to be yeah, yeah, yeah nitpicking yeah. but i still enjoy it for yeah. sure and especially when it's artists that i actually like they're artists i enjoy listening to as well like I love the competitive nature of it. I think it's great. I yeah. think it's hilarious that Ross got involved in it too. I think that just I mean, adds an even more entertaining element to me. To me, he is so funny. And just like even just the conversational things he's saying when he's posting his little video clips. Like oh, yeah. oh my he's god. Always, he's always like speaking in, in, in parables or like yep. you know, yeah. Yeah. In, in question mark. Yep. Everything ends with a question mark. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's so great. Yeah. Uh I'm muted. <laughs> keywords on Twitter and I muted Cole Kendrick no Drake. Yeah, right, so you don't like, like it but no it's not that I don't like it it's just that I don't like most people's takes on it and yeah. I'm just ah, over okay. not, not that I disagree or, but I'm just like you, you, you don't get it you, yeah. know you don't get it but like okay, okay. here's the truth and not an objective <laughs> opinion <laughs> is alright I hate 
there's there's this contingent of an opinion within the very niche culture of battle rap that everyone in battle rap just wants to be cool with Drake. It, all the battle rappers yeah. just want to be cool with Drake, so they're going to say he wins no matter what yeah. because they're all friends. Nobody's a friend with Drake. <laughs> Drake's friends aren't friends with Drake. <laughs> As we can see. <laughs> As we can see. As we, yeah. Let alone yeah. fucking hollow the dawn. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let yeah. alone, you know, and, and here's just not an opinion. None of them want smoke with Drake. Like, like he's the one who gets it. Like, he, okay. he's a fan of Battle Rat, and it's not because of that why I think this, but he, he's... He, here's what I was saying, and, and, and Chase was agreeing, it was just me and him talking yeah, yeah. about it. And he's... 100% exactly is that anyone that can rap when they want when he wants to rap on Drake's level can't say the status accomplishment yeah. success shit can't talk that shit doesn't that have the can. big boy talk and so anyone that can rap on his level he he can big homie yeah yeah okay. because there is a, a there's a bunch of rappers that can rap on his level i don't care if you know yeah. you can say lupe black thought uh all, all you can name a bunch of them they crooked don't, eye they you don't can have name a, plane, a million yeah, but yeah, like yeah. but he's gonna big homie all of them. exactly That's and true, he's yeah. not just gonna get straight get out rap by any of them and, and any of the ones who could big homie him and, can't out rap him and <laughs> yeah and, and, and that is he's true. also smart <laughs> taylor swift because and, <laughs> <laughs> taylor swift that's comes barred up that's the only the, person that's the now, only that he would change his <laughs> release date <laughs> yeah. but yeah. but but so, but don't get me wrong it's like it sounds political but like but he obviously doesn't tap into that all the time so who's the most consistent just bar guy in that level, if you want to call it the big three, or just in, on that level? Well, yeah, that's Cole. He's the rapper's rapper at that level because yeah, because that's what he does. He can't do what Drake does. And, well, I mean, not to say he can't do what Drake does, but he, he doesn't, doesn't do doesn't, what Drake yeah. does. And Drake doesn't do what he does. And so, yeah, he's the more consistent bar for bar guy because he's the rapper rapper guy. And Kendrick, to me, is – the most consistent right. high level artist. Okay. So so his albums to me are better, overall better like consistent discography yeah. and maybe Jay will always have the best discography to me at least That's in, in okay. the near future yes. to to bat, to in in in, in rap. Same with it's you. just hard. Yeah. It's oh, just hard. Yeah. Like you look at the just big picture, and no one has been that consistent and okay. always been on the pulse, but yet his own, whatever, whatever. But there's people like Lil Wayne's still my favorite. Same. He's <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Yeah, he's, he's the my goat. One. To, yeah, he does got the better discography than Jay, but he's the goat. He just puts everything he's, out. He's well, I always say, like, if Eminem was still on drugs, he could have been Lil Wayne today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? If Eminem Super stayed doing accurate. drugs, like he would have been, you know, that's I mean? yeah, yeah. Point. <laughs> that's really funny. Like yeah. it's it's that zany cartoon fun, yes. amazing rap. Like yep. he's he's my favorite rapper. You Boundless. Know? So yeah. getting back to like quote unquote the big three, like right, Kendrick right. is just like high level art and and makes the best thing. But like when it comes to this diss track shit, bro, like let's just be real, like. It, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, none dude. of them are even close to Drake. <laughs> nah. He gets it. Like he yeah. he's the one person who I think uh, of major artists and and successful artists that could actually battle because he get he's smart with his approaches and is self aware enough to know what people think about him, what card he can play, the thing. Uh, and, and he's I, in it, tune with the battle culture yeah. enough to yeah. know how to like assess and address things mm -hmm. the right most like creative and layered way. He 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 calls himself like a student of battle rap and I I think that's reflective in what, these he, type he, of situations, what, he have a, you know. He threw an event for his birthday or something yeah. Yeah. Or for, he, on Smack he, and obviously a lot of people don't know a, couple, like, a lot of people don't know that he was legitimately 180 seconds away from battling Murder Mook mm -hmm. yeah. on stage at that event. At, at that Blackout, event. At Blackout five. Uh, OVO Blackout 5 yeah, in and Toronto. And I, I, battled, was about, I battled DNA. DNA. Uh, I battled Shoddy battled Hitman Holla. Conceited and dumbfounded. Yeah. Big event. So that, that event. Yeah. It that event. Poor, poor organic. So yeah. that was OVO sponsored Blackout event. <clears throat> Drake was in attendance the whole weekend and... I guess came up with the idea on his own, like day two, like, 
yo, Mook's here. Like, why don't we see what's good? So Ganek is like, yo, Mook, what's good? <laughs> yeah. And the next thing you know, they're down. both under the stage in their own private green rooms rehearsing. And within like three minutes of it actually about to happen, Drake's manager <laughs> like, hey, comes uh, to Ganek and is yeah. basically just like, yo, man, I get it. But you you got to understand also. Like, yeah, it's the biggest artist in the world. The yeah, Illuminati yeah, yeah. made a call. <laughs> yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? Prince again, man. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I, like, yeah. we were that CIA. close. Like, nah, man. <laughs> what a moment that would have been. That's too. nuts. Like, I didn't, I mean, I don't know if that's been talked about. I did God. not know that. Yeah, yeah. It was literally Luke was wearing a legend. Legendary cardigan that night. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he was like on stage for your battle. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That he 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 he's just tapped in, man. Like, yeah. See, what's funny is like sometimes it it gets taken for granted or or uh, assumed that. Which I agree with this partially. So don't like don't think I'm just like oh he's going against battle rap, but but. Kind of speaking to what he was saying about there's been a whole wave of you know rappers even more even more concentrated now because of the popularity of battle rap that just come into battle rap inspired by battle rap might not even be hip hop heads or want to make music or a rapper outside of it but everybody has this kind of like notion that like battle rap's the cutting edge in a lot in a lot of ways it, it is, is yeah. however there's also this duality of it where this thing there, there's so many sort of remixes within battle rap that, that are unintentional remixes that happen of these big haymakers, so-and-so said this, that it's like, bro, like, Pat, Pat Poo said that on a mixtape like right, 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 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 you know, Cassidy said that on a bar th this time. Uh, Crooked Eyes Chino, said that. that crooked, Chino, yeah, like, man. these punchers who, Vakil said that you know, in Chicago, <laughs> like, th that these punchers, like, in, in mixtape rappers and whoever else had, like, there's there's a little bit also of this regurgitation that happens even within battle rap where I'm like that's an old ass that I see some shit get quoted and I'm like bro I heard that 20 years Way ago some that's sort a, of defeat it's like bar. yeah yeah it's been refashioned as yeah. a different gun bar but it's really the same thing like yeah, so yeah, there, yeah. It, it, there is a weird because I do also agree that battle rap is sort of on this you know cusp and and at the forefront of really manipulating the english language for in a sure. lot of ways now yeah. uh, now a lot of it's terrible but <laughs> and, and you know who you are you probably don't you'll never know but <laughs> i know who you are and, and you'll never admit who you are but i know who but you I are. Know. no you think you're great it's all the people they say are good writers bad writers so but but uh, the thing is, is battle rap truly does push the the envelope forward. When you look at like classical poetry, when you look at idioms, the the entendres, the the manipulation of the English langu language in the literary form, battle rap is at the forefront of that. And I'd never yeah. undercut that ever. The, the, it, 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 there, there's a duality, and hip hop has been that for a long time even if people don't you know who are outside of hip hop don't recognize that that's been hip hop yeah. now battle rap is hip hop but it's a concentrated form uh, of elitist. lyricism yeah. and word manipulation where that gets rewarded yeah. that doesn't always get rewarded in music and hip hop you know yeah, but yeah. this is the place where you come for yeah. the best you know, people, language manipulation. Yeah, people I listening think, to like that and they, they hear the fuck, you know, fuck the big three, it's just big me. You show them a Chilla Jones verse, it, they wouldn't understand what the fuck is going yeah, on. Yeah, and I'd so, be like, he's talking about laundry detergent. You didn't get it? You don't get it? <laughs> you don't get it? Those yeah, are all yeah. tides soda have, brand. The tides have turned. You don't get it? You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, they'd get it. Yeah. They'd get Chilla. But, uh, <laughs> that's fucked up. No, fuck with oh, yeah, he knows. the man, dog. No. He's, but he, Chilla is, is as much as I can make fun of that. It's more about scheming, but he's the progenitor of a style. Exactly. That, then it's like a he's like a thesaurus. He's the you know apex what I mean? of Where what so many of, people are trying to do. It's not that he invented scheming. Thesaurus didn't invent compound rhyme scheming, yeah, but yeah. he did something with it and put it on a platform and that everybody everyone just yeah. took and <laughs> tried to bat and, exactly and mastered it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, so I'm, I'm so guilty. I mean, not I haven't battled, but I'm so guilty of that. I pipe her on a bed. And I was like, piranha? And then I just, <laughs> and then it's just 
fish. And I just see fish on the carpet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she was catfishing. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! It's just another level. And then, and then, I mean, the next three years, everyone's doing it. Yeah. Um, it's one of the reasons, though, that I think battle rap might be one of the few, if not only artistic spaces slash niches that are safe in my opinion for the most part from ai infiltration i think oh, yeah, i yeah, think yeah. we're too nuanced yes, i yes, think yes. there's there's too many different oh yeah can i get some ice please yeah, yeah, yeah. i think there's too many different layers of like slang and entendres and nuance that we're using to where I don't think AI will ever pose a threat to actual battle rap the way that you can make a song. You know what I'm saying? I, I have literal confirm. Well, you know, take it for what it is, but confirmation of this in that. Um, uh, and we've both the, chopped it up with that same MIT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the homie from yeah. Okay, I could. Uh, yeah. Again, goldfish memory. I'm like, I don't remember, bro. <laughs> Shout out but Joey. But this fool from MIT, he's, he's talked to us both, but he was talking about how there is a large. Uh, essentially like race t to figure out how to get AI to essentially mimic battle rap what? in a lot of ways. And so it goes to what I, the thing I was talking about, about mm -hmm. manipulation of language and subtleties and all these things. And what he was saying is like, it's not for like no elevation of hip hop and all these things, but strip strictly like linguistically. And if he was saying there's like a, Call it an arms race where he's like, you don't understand. He the way he broke it down. He's like, you don't understand. And he was interviewing me about all this stuff, trying to because he's programming his own yeah. things. He's an stuff. MIT but, dude, real sharp dude. Yeah. Okay, but he was essentially saying he's like, oh, this isn't just like a pro. Like, I, yeah, I'm doing this project, but this is sort of a uh, a lane that there's money behind to figure out because if. Basically, if you can get AI to solve this problem of the nuance of language and to be able to manipulate it, it has larger implications. Of course. Like, then you have, you know, deduction and reasoning in this thing that that's different from just, you know, sort of A word scraping generator. everything on the internet and just putting together these innate yeah. symbols and we're, eh, yeah, okay, here's, here's sort of like a... My bad. Uh, a conglomerate, you know, an, a, a compilation of words that I've pulled from all these. So, but with with if they could crack that code of breaking down a multi-syllabic rhyme structure, polysyllabic really? rhyme structures. And that was the like first the, thing he was trying to do yeah. was just have it like multi-effectively, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so I gave him like a, this is I gave this him a is bunch a of reference points in the race for AI that a lot of people are trying to solve. The race for AI. Comes down to it's a battle rap. Yeah. It's a multi I have, like, talked it's about a it. Jokes. The dude reached out to <laughs> me. I had basically tweeted a couple different, like, people had asked my thoughts about it, and I had just tweeted openly, like, I don't think it actually poses a threat to us. And then that dude messaged me and was like, yo, man, longtime fan, been seeing your thoughts, and I'm actually, I would love to show you what I've been working on yeah. because this is the lens I view things th through, which I think is different from the majority of other people trying what to use AI to battle rap. The dude's like an old school scribble fan. Yeah. So then I gave him like a list of more syllable heavy writers to start feeding the AI, like the feeding yeah, the box yeah. to listen to. I put the guy up on Bender. I put him up on like even guys like QP and Chilla who Working are doing ops, more <laughs> people who are doing more complex I things. Protest. I, yeah, mean, I was the, like, yeah, send me the bread. Me. And then just <laughs> And then it was ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he and, and I was like, like, that's for the culture, the, man. He told me, he was like, you and Ilmac are like the first people I've put in the engine, but like, do you have other recommendations for, uh, you if know, You have that in writing? Uh, I'm sure I do. I'm going to save my, it in the archive. In <laughs> Just for one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah for one, one day. One day. Oh. I need jo infinite royalty. When, when Joey's becomes like yeah, the yeah. prevalent thing of I'm like, I'm like, I told you there was money. I told you there was money in battle rap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm like, AI, how is AI going to be? HI isn't a problem. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, humans can't. Human yeah, intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how, so how good. Is someone more advanced going to have a problem? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, AI is kind of a problem in this like whole big three battle as well. It seems like. Yeah, like Drake's tra track got leaked and people were like, is it real? Is it AI? Is it his voice? Yeah, it's fucked is up it... that we even are in a yeah. in the day and age where that is now 
a, a threat as well, or not a threat, but like a, a concern that, that you have to think in the back of your sure. mind. Like even you hear something, you're like, damn, this is fire. But is it real? Is it real? <laughs> you know is saying? it real? And then the Kendrick one gets leaked and he doesn't do and any weird wasn't. voices. And it's like, that's not, it can't be him. It's just his normal voice. I often, my, yeah, no shot. No shot. He doesn't change his cadence. My seven fallback times. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for this has been Mickey Fax because he's studied enough AI. <laughs> no, just, in, I'm saying just in terms of determining if it's AI or not. I got into, so a, just, I, I got into an argument with Mickey Fax on a unbiased oh, review uh, Facebook <laughs> group. That. In 2000, oh. whatever. Uh, yeah, I popped it. Oh, you lost it again? I got it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah that's... You know what I'm saying? He well, gets passionate about He does. He just, starts, he's, he just starts ribbing, <laughs> ribbing stuff Specifically out. Specifically about Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about Mickey. Yeah. <sighs> but he has head studied, head uh, like, AI song making enough to know when a song is clearly yeah. the artist themselves. That's all I was saying. Yeah, was yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, <laughs> you got <laughs> that's you're staying out of it. Oh my god! Okay. Not <laughs> gonna cast judgment. No, 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 you guys, no, no. Uh, you guys said, or you you said that Drake could battle like one of one of those artists that could battle, and um, it doesn't seem like very many artists that have uh, you know a music career ever take that leap because like why uh, would they? Yeah, a lot but, of risk. But a few have. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have like respect, like respect for artists that do that? I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. hate it. Yeah. I, I don't hate it at all. I mean, you, more often than not, I don't think the intent behind it comes from a place of like, oh, I want to help the greater good of battle rap oh, okay. by doing this. But I'm not mad at that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like, care about helping the greater good. Of <laughs> you just want to win. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> the shit. Fair like, enough. but but I do respect anyone that'll just put it on the line. Like, yeah. Whether it's a freestyle or a written area, it is a gamble. Especially and the more to you say, have nah, to risk. Falls on the table. Yeah. Me and you. I mean, yeah. Test the skill. Like, regardless if they're terrible or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Cassidy. Facts. Yep. The more... I uh, feel... The more... <laughs> The no more. matter if it's horrible yeah, or not, shout out to Cassidy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the fact that a motherfucker can step in the ring and put it on the line. Or you guys, I, I, I respect the, that. The yeah, more yeah, okay, they okay. have to risk in a spot like that, the more yeah, admirable yeah. I think it is. Like, I had respect when Budden stepped uh, yeah. up to hollow. Got on his the, boots smoked. <laughs> but shout out to him for doing it. For, for doing, doing it. it. And yeah. doing it at a time. Killed. Doing it at a time. Destroyed. <laughs> looked bad. <laughs> Stop but but shout out for him. Yeah. But, but he did it. But he, but he did, did it. it. But he did shout it. out to him for doing it. Yeah. He did it. He put his big yeah. boy fans. Talk about that. I want to yeah. smoke a cigarette right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the timing of doing it around, like, as the main event of something, which is obviously there with the intent of propping yeah. up Slaughterhouse. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Also, it's like, a big active risk. Supported. Like, Royce, Crooked. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Joel, too, but specifically Royce and Crooked, big supporters of Battle Rap. Facts. Yeah. And it, doing that, even finding the value in Battle Rap to, like, push it forward, contribute to the culture, and um, sort of put it on a bigger platform. Because they were on Shady at that time. They didn't exactly. have to do that. That was insane. Yeah. And, and like, jokes aside, he's battling the greatest of all time. Right, exactly. The GOAT. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. if you just look at, like, That's Hollow's insane. the fucking best. Yeah. yeah. He's so, stepping and, and, and into our the, arena and yeah. going against and, the best. And, That's insane. And, and Hollow destroyed me. So, <laughs> so really, me yeah, and Budden yeah, yeah, are yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yellow Shout out Hollow. Lyrical. Lyrical. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to those, you it, bro. Shout out to those of us who actually could beat Hollow. Damn. Nah. <laughs> uh, hey, see, see, whenever I lose a battle, I'm just like, hey, I always got bigger got, homies doing bigger shout things. Shout out Hollow. That's my guy. Yo, I beat up a kid one time when I was uh, like a junior. Shout out to Craig Maynard. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, but I, he name dropped, he name dropped the, the guy's quote ever. Uh, after I beat him up, he was like, uh, he was like, he <laughs> he brought his homie. Shout out to the North, man. But he brought he brought his homie, his big homie. We'll just call him Joey. Joey. And and he ran this up. This is actual. On, <laughs> there's no E. <laughs> but, but he ran up on the home, like not me, on another homie of mine. And he was like, yeah. And and and, and this will Joey pressed him and and what and then Craig gets out the car. And he looks at me, he's like, yeah. Or he looks at bro, he's like, yeah, your homie got me. But I always got bigger homies doing bigger things. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> That's forever That's my for, mantra it's, now. It's like, I'm like, Tony quote. B, you beat me. I got bigger, bigger homies. homies doing <laughs> Hollow, <laughs> you beat me. I got bigger homies doing That's bigger That's so things. good. Shout out Hollow. Man. Get to my redemption for me. <laughs> Hollow's battling in Germany next month. Yeah, the same crazy. league that I just rocked in December. That's going to be real tight, man. Yeah, uh, that's another testament to how far things have come and how cool yeah. this shit is. Like, and it's just like the only to pop English up and battle. And on that's the card. so when I battled there, yeah, I was the only. I battled the same dude. Hollows battling Quill. Shout out Quill from uh, the UK, who's super dope. Um, He's cool. We were the only English battle on the card. There was like six German battles on the card. This play, they had twenty two hundred people in this venue, wow. and this is dead of winter where the person who brought me out was like oh yeah man like i'm sorry about the weather we could have easily got another like five to seven hundred if it was like actually not snowing and i'm just like dog you got a 2k plus in yeah. the dead of winter in to germany. come out in germany <laughs> yeah. it's insane. and your headliner is not a local not someone who's rapping in the local language yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like that's a big fucking thing and yeah. they were so receptive really cool crowd the, the whole setup was incredible yeah. like these guys are killing it out there man that is nuts it's so I'm talking, to I'm talking to him uh, oh i've been should. talking to him like since her since like uh actually when i was first in or uh when i i was just in december was out in london doing yep. like an a battle for an illuminati initiation <laughs> and, facts and though had, facts, facts. Okay. sign the nda can't go into that okay and it'll never come out it'll never no come one out. will ever know but just know i got destroyed okay. by the homie shout out Baz. Shout but out <laughs> but but uh uh, when we're out there, I, we did a show at uh, this legendary bar that I don't have the source's memory to remember the name, um, but in London, Raz Kaz showed up randomly, a yeah, bunch of so battles, crazy. but Quill did, and we did like a mock face-off where he's like, let's battle in Germany, da 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 you Dog. know I mean? And like, then he like texted it to bro, like in the, from the Germany. Yeah, the dude, I've been Jamie, who runs the league, they're, they're super cool people. They're super fire. Yeah. Real chill. Uh, the events are incredible. I actually found found out when I was out there. I didn't find out till the day I left, so he didn't get to pull up the event. But R.A. the Rugged Man has been living in Berlin oh, for like forever. the last two years. Yeah, for no, a couple no. of Like even I remember back in the day he was staying there, or at least back and forth. He hit one. me up the day I was leaving. He's like, yo, I just saw you were battling in Berlin. Please tell me I didn't miss it. And I'm like, dog, I'm sorry. Was the was text in double time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually pulled up to my Toronto battle, though, when I battled Pepe back in uh, like February. Right. He no, was just, R.A.'s, he, R.A.'s he's the man. Fun. He like yeah. happened to be touring Canada. Canada and he's like, yo, I'm in Toronto. Y'all around? I'm like, Doug. Bro, this is like the second podcast I've done. Like, you know, if someone having me on in the first one was all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I and remember I did that. it with Juice. Yeah, the Juice actually. one. And I remember he that. just made me look like a terrible rapper because he's the best freestyler ever. there ever was. Ever. And probably ever will be. Ever. On a podcast? He's free, yeah. And he's, well, they, it was a they, podcast. They throw and then they're on? like, oh, let's rap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me head. On. <laughs> you throw I'm a not beat. repeating this. I'm, just I'm not repeating <laughs> this. Uh, 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 <laughs> that mistake. But nah, he yeah, he made me look absolutely terrible. And Jesus he's spitting freestyle, so and I'm like, good. yeah, I'm not gonna freestyle that. I spit a written, still not as impressive. Man. Crazy. But still, RA shows a lot of love, man. He's, he's a the real man, one. bro. He's such good people. That's yep. dope. Uh, speaking of artists, uh, getting in or putting their getting their feet wet, were you guys in the building when the Notepad came out? I was. You were. Ill might. No. I yeah, I, uh, oh yeah, he battled before. I wasn't that even. Uh, you might not never heard of the, it. What notepad? <laughs> you might not even have been in the venue at that point, huh? I you was, battled right before uh, that. PT, no, I battled after that. Oh, you. Oh my God. There was a battle that. after that. Yeah. Yes. Ill Mac versus Arsenal was after that oh, because was yeah. that the title? No, it was just there was a huge issue <laughs> with that battle happening. <laughs> Hey, shout out to ours. I have PTSD whenever whenever I hear my cerebral cortex. I remember from that event, like vividly, I remember standing in the crowd and I was like on disaster side because that's the homie. But yeah. I was with a couple of, the, there was like a handful of UK, so Ur and some of the Don't Flop guys yeah, were there because yeah, yeah. they battled on the card too. So I was standing around like Ur, Bagnell, Kruger, and a couple other people, and we were right behind a pocket of like seven diehard cannabis fans. 
die hard to like emotions showing before the battle had started. Oh, so no. he's he's oh damn. So he's spitting his first round and fucking bro, <laughs> like the, they're getting hyped up. It's crash in the clouds. Can, while literally. I'm while I'm realizing that he's literally just spitting a remixed version of the first verse from second round knockout. That's what it was. If you go and listen back, he just changed. Watch the your words. mouth, man. <laughs> Respect, <laughs> respect the but bus. His fans are all getting so hyped, and they're turning around and gassing each other. And me and Bagnol are just looking at him like, "Oh no!" Give this about, give this feeling three minutes. <laughs> and you're oh. not gonna feel like this in three minutes. Yeah. And then Disaster spits his first round, and you see the life slowly like start to come out. No, 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 Me ahead, doing that. Me ahead. I bring up cannabis. Is that we ain't doing that? Pull up cannabis. Okay, look. No, while we while it's here. Look, I'll say okay, this because okay, okay. he doesn't know any better. Nah, he listens to <laughs> country is, music. You this can't. is this is oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Have you ever seen someone admit to their worst doings of all time? I, I don't so, even remember. So, so I don't so even no, remember. Not my battle with Arsenal is probably so there's like three battles. That like I have three losses in my life. <laughs> okay. No, no, but like clear. Whereas like one of my worst performances, I was blackout drunk. drunk like okay. I choked and was like, right, yo, there's like boys to men. Shout out my boy, Poison Pen. Yo, uh, his name. Yo, yeah, you're a yeah, bitch. Yeah. Shout out Hitch. And yo, like, you know what I mean? Like it was it was absolutely terrible. It be, also though it was, there was a, like the a situation weird energy. I was blackout drunk. And that's my fault. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not making excuses here. A lot of my fans be like, oh, he got, he, you know, whatever, whatever. But like, a real MC can adjust any circumstance. He was lit. And I was, so, but I got lit because we were supposed to battle before Cannabis Disaster. Yep. And basically, there was some discrepancies with payment and whatever okay. else. So, and Ar Ar was I was in the ring. Arsenal wouldn't come, which is not a slight against him. Yeah. You yeah, got to handle business. Right, shout right, out right. to Ars. Ars is one of the goats, too. Facts. And one of the best rappers in, in battle rap, rap who makes some of the best music in right. this shit. He's a real MC. But all that to say, he didn't come. Then... Ultimately, it was like 25 minutes, I'm whatever, whatever. And then disaster and cannabis battle. That's the headline battle. That's the so during that battle, everything after I'm like, I'm just getting faded, whatever. I'm not right. bad. My shit's canceled. And so I get stupid fade. And also, here's what I'll say. I'm not just like a straight up alcoholic or whatever. Yeah. Uh well. Uh, well, he I, did have a breath. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we get, we're gonna have a story talk. <laughs> But uh, when I first met I this guy, I was gonna guy, say our first meet was funny as fuck. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, I didn't need. I don't eat a lot during battle days. You don't eat. So some okay, of, okay, yeah, okay. like before battles, I want to feel light on my feet. Right. But what happens is then it's one a.m. Then it, it's one a.m. <laughs> yeah. I battled. My adrenaline is going. So when I'm drinking at first after the battle, cause I'm like so tense that I'm like, oh, drink, shot, shot. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel it. Adrenaline. Well, there's a certain point where there's no food in your stomach, and then the adrenaline leaves. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, long story short, I, it was one of my most embarrassing performances mm. recorded. And Arsenal's one of the biggest and most viewed battle rappers ever. Right. So there's this there's this cross section oh. of it, Brutal. like that I low key still have it, like outlived it. Yeah. You know what I mean, people like wait, uh, Ilmac verse who uh, didn't end up the cap. Arsenal the killed him though. Yeah, Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. And then the other two battles that someone on Ilmac's battle in Nitty. I don't know, man. Arsenal that killed him. Arsenal. Though. Exactly. <laughs> and, and the other ago. two <laughs> battles that people reference is Hollow. Of the dawn and, and conceded. conceded. Okay. Not battled them on the same, same day. day. The same the day. The second of venue or the second time I ever did a battle in the written era. I, I think you can them. make the case that I think I, I thought Madness got you in the day. The day oh, of. Madness got me. I killed Diz. But I thought like and, ma the Madness I, battle my though. First, my first time in the written era, I battled two people. Right, right. So I battled. It was on Grind Time West Coast, and I battled Diz and Madness. And at that that time, a lot of the all, all the battles I think were judged in yep. Grind Time. Yep. But because I had I was doing throwing events in the Northwest, Grind Time Northwest. It was sort of an inner company uh, decision that, like, if a manager of a whatever battles, then it, 
do yeah. a pro, it's called a promo battle yeah. and there's no because you know okay, whatever okay. no you're, official you're, yeah no you're part of the company right. you yeah, can yeah, rig yeah. it whatever so <laughs> so I battled Diz and 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 Madness and you didn't even and, it's not like you even performed poorly against Madness that was what I was gonna nah, say nah, it's but like, he was just he, he was, was great just cooking he just killed yeah. it. He yeah. just yeah. cooking but I I battled uh, Diz earlier that day and yeah he's admitted it even though he's recanted but for sure he knows he knows he knows shout out Diz. Um, you know, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's another goat though. Diz, like, fact. Yeah, yeah. Fact. and shout out Diz because he voiced Ketchup for the cartoons we did. Hey, I was fact. Ketchup into that. Yeah, yeah, legitimately yeah. one of the most iconic voices just, in battle oh, rap. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the most viral piece of battle rap content that's ever been created. You yeah, know what I'm was the uh, the amount of pages and different platforms that that has gone viral TikToks on. TikToks and yeah, yeah. bro, there's there's like there's different fa- there's IGs. Facebook posts that have ten million. There's yeah, ones that um, five million on like Unilad. There's like yeah. you know, reaction mm. videos with yeah, millions. Yeah, re- exactly. Just people reposting it though. I feel like every time it gets reposted, because I'll get tagged in it a hundred times just because people know that I work with rap off and shit. Right. Like every account that reposts that shit, it goes viral for. Yeah, it. rap off is like basically what the umbrella that. Of the cartoon rap battles, yeah. Right. So we done ketchup versus mustard. Can you look up ketchup versus mustard rap battle? We did a craft commercial, the uh, for for craft singles. Okay. Basically. That, oh, that was a commercial. Yeah. yeah it was like they craft paid us to reached do it. out to do it. Yeah. Oh, so did you? Cr- is there? Did you curse in it? Nah. Is it hard to write not cursing? No, nah. no. Nah, nah, you and, can do it. If there was the hard part for the craft one to me. You because can't reference anything that's it was, an IP. Yeah, because it was craft oh. and they wanted it, to, so they own. There was like the three content. Larson mm-hmm. bars of like mm-hmm. Avenger like, shit, oh. but it's like nah, that's that's like they were no, literally the like legal yeah. department yeah, 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 was like yeah. you can't reference any. They're like you're referencing nuts. nothing we or, don't own can be yeah. referenced. I voice Slim Single, Pass four, Voice Gouda, and yeah, my, four uh, point my dog and four point five is crazy. Four point five, one point. And these are Seven. just and these are just from the original accounts. Yeah, That's yeah. Because oh, yeah. Really again, like I said, there's literal Facebook posts to catch up. Must have I have screenshots. There's 10 I, million. Yeah, 10 there's million. IG, there's Instagram posts with 10, 12 million. I remember yeah. Daquan posted Daquan, it got yeah. over 10 million. Michael easy. B. Jordan. I had like. <laughs> I had no idea that the craft singles was the actual. I thought that I thought that was just another video. I didn't and then know we did was, the NBA thing for the Bleacher yeah, Report yeah, at the, the start of the season, which was real dope too. That was with a different animator, yeah. but that shit came out super fire. How's the end? fondue? Right, that's how it yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah. All you the fondue. fondue. <laughs> that's uh, fire. Those are all. I mean, those are so sick. Shout out so to fun. Sydney from JL too, who's the ad company who brought us on, but she was like a big champion in our corner. For that, Super like even learning at the fact, like she was really because they were very artist forward and like gave us a lot of creative freedom. There was some parameters, but like they were they were super solid with that. It was really and dope. they yeah. respect. I remember there was a few a few lines that they were like a little suspect or questionable on that we were firm on, like yeah, the yeah, Statue like, of Liberty stuff. Yeah. There was stuff that we were firm on that she had our back on and was yeah. like, okay, like, yeah. cool. Here, 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 <laughs> it's a trip. I, I broke this out before too, but it's like uh, the the magic word when you're dealing with the company who re- who for sh- reached out to you first of right. all, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. to but but it, um, you know to tap into like your mark or whatever is, is like authenticity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is yes. like, I'm like, well, uh, you you just don't understand. Like the the author, the culture yeah. will, uh, <laughs> yep. it, you know, the the view thing. this in authenticity. Like you're really yep. risking, yep. Uh, and they're like, oh yeah, no, 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 we're yeah. uh, we want to protect, we're allies, we we're, we're allies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we want to protect the art. That's yeah. so good. Yeah, so it's like you, there's certain. <laughs> the, right, I'm up. like, no, nah, I'm trying to keep that gum bar. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, what well, you don't understand is, uh, you know, the authenticity and the pillars of hip hop within the, you know, you just say a bunch of, <laughs> yeah, like, they're like, oh yeah, no, hip hop no, buzzwords. No, I, I was telling, you know, you know what, I was telling, I was, I was telling, you know, yeah, yeah but I'm saying are my boss. No. It's squeeze, but, but, but it's I, also we're, squeeze we're cheese. Yeah, like it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it correlates. Yeah. yeah, that's really. Can you look up? Uh, because we were just talking about it. Uh, cannabis versus disaster. Because I wanted you to finish what you were saying. Uh, oh, bro, yeah. the crap. Oh my god. Because I mean, when it comes to, I'm sure poor, you, these it, poor cannabis. Much, fans. much. That's like, an insane spelling. <laughs> D i z d i z. He wrote it in a. Uh, <laughs> he wrote it in like a Kiwi accent. There, there. Oh, just, just hit enter. Just, <laughs> just hit enter. There, right there, right there, right there. 
Nah. <laughs> Four million. Damn. He was having his own battle with Dis- cannabis over there, just trying to search. He's having a battle <laughs> with the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, Disaster search. is a numbers machine. Look, oh, look, yeah, here's yeah, one yeah. thing I always, I, like how I say Hollow's the GOAT. One thing I've always said, especially in the past, but like about Diz is like he's classically always been the face of battle rap. And people yeah. can disagree with, people can get passionate about it. But like when you, if you did a worldwide survey. I was going to say glo- worldwide. Global face. Yeah. Who, like, it's like it's like this. Who Who's the most face? Famous rapper of all time. You might disagree, but let me just say the real answer. It's Snoop Dogg. Like everyone's grandma mm. is gonna know Snoop Dogg. Okay. Yeah, you can okay. say, oh, Tupac, yeah, Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone knows Snoop. Snoop Dogg, even if they never heard a okay. rap song. Has a it's like people's in grandmas. Every, like, yeah, bro. okay, and, that makes sense. And and, and 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 this is a weird comparison, but in a way, disaster is that for battle rap. He touches because all the pockets of the bigger, world. Yeah. There's bigger battle rappers in the U.S. or in yeah. New York or on URL or here or there or there's a bigger battle rapper in Russia oxymoron there's yeah. a bigger battle rapper here but he's collectively yeah. but he's battled them yeah, and yeah. he's battled them in their language and so, and, <laughs> which, and, and had... gained fans of their a lot of their fans too and and then when you look at the full map if you were to just look at the gloat that no one had like yeah. has the cannabis wanted that Diz to did. battle Diz. Cassidy wanted to battle yeah. Diz. That, like, these face guys, that, yeah, that, that is like he's why? the face. That is yeah. That's <laughs> another incentive. Like knowing Diz, like if I didn't know him as a homie and yeah. just knew him as his battle persona, it's insane to me that these guys. That's what they wanted why to sign up would for. You want but I think it's because they view, like they view him as the face yeah. and as you want to hop if, in. If I can win a battle against this guy. I'm I'm the guy. That's how they look at it, you know. Yeah. Because did like he eats, sleeps, and breathes this shit. Yeah. He is yeah, yeah, the yeah. embodiment. And of, again, even battling you know, in other languages and like he's he has, done shit that's like he learned bring Spanish Oscar just to Oscar battle. No, he tweeted did it. about that. Did he? Yeah, he battled so against shit. like a viral so, Spanish okay, battle rap. Okay, so before we even really get Shout into the Diz, realm man. of that, a, a quick guy. side path to get on yeah, yeah, yeah. is the fact that when we talk about the the Excuse me. Popularity of battle rap and everything. What's crazy right now, especially, but in, in general, is there's a lot of countries where battle rap is Larger. more popular than the U.S. Then, oh, okay. And these guys and, are doing and and, and Brazil, whether, whether we're yeah, whether Latin we're, America's yeah, yeah, yeah right, Mexico, right, right. Brazil, uh, you, you, Russia, like you have Ooh. every battle that uh, uh, Philippines, Philippines, flip top, yeah, bro. flip top, yeah, the or most viewed in the world, and, and the six views seven million are views in a week. Of course, a lot of those are in pockets or whatever, right? right. And they're obviously still influenced from like because all the biggest battle rappers from all those things that are quote unquote bigger get more views. They they're all the fuck fans with us. of the pillars yeah, of, yeah, or yeah. In, uh, uh, of battle rap. But like somebody like this, he's battled, I don't even know how many languages he's battled in. Four, it, three but, or four. Yeah, because he's battled in... Arabic, uh, Spanish, yeah. English, at least. And and, and some Russian against Oxy. Against Oxy, wrong. yeah, like but, sprinkles but, in... But, but, but when he battled Asesino, because Asesino was basically, uh, he was like the biggest... I probably still is. In I don't. Mexico. I don't know. But like in in Mexico, like we're battling on Red Bull. They have like a a huge. They sponsorship where they sell out stadiums, soccer arenas, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah. And it's not the only country that does. Like yeah, the, they, the Latin like American Latin Amer- sh- like they sell out stadiums. There's a poker for player. 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. There's an Argentinian poker player, a dude named Papo Loco, who's a really, he's a sick poker player. He's sponsored by Poker Stars, but he's also, he's a battle rapper and a mutual homie that we have who's, uh, like he works for Rolling Stone Argentina. He put me in contact with him because he was like, yo, my boy's coming to World Series of Poker. I would love for you guys to meet. And so I looked up a couple of the guy's battles without even, I mean, I don't speak fluent Spanish or anything. Right, yeah, you yeah. can watch this guy's battles without knowing the language and know that this dude is a superstar. Just get the, the way timing, he's setting things up. Yeah. And then they're doing these things in legit soccer arenas and with 5K. Even when they like do it, though, it's like, the, it's like the, free, it's the freestyler. Yeah. It's freestyle so tournaments. And words it's on project, tournaments. Words and it's projected on, on a beat. screen. They're rapping. They're incorporating words projected on a screen in into the battles over beats. Some and, like Harry Max type and, shit. Like, well, well, some so similar to doing but that in back form. in the day too. What? Like I did a red shout out Harry Max too. That's the homie. Back it back in um, where I like won I've this regional battle in Seattle yeah. and then couldn't make the final. Like they hit me. I did they the postponed finals, 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 and then 
They're like, hey, we're doing it in eight days. I'm like, yeah, I'm touring Europe in eight days. Like, you, what? Yeah. But anyways, I did the they, LA they've Red been, Bull. yeah. They, they've been sort of doing that. Like, they used to call it the MC Challenge out there. I think DNA they call it the, made the finals Bataille. in one of them. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. But I think I do remember that. Long time ago, DNA got, like, he made the finals, and it was in Michigan, and he got booed. No, he got he booed, booed off stage. Because he said everybody from the 3 one. Yes, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I do remember oh, that. Oh, yeah, it was what? Rabbit the Duke. The, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about a but, rare instance of when DNA did something like that for a non-traditional battle crowd and it backfired because DNA has done shit like that for so many like diverse non-traditional battle crowds and won those DNA's crowds. DNA's another one DNA's who's up there with the Dizzes. Legend, like bro. you could say what you want if you're not the stylistic fan, whatever, but who's who's put on for the Dog. bigger. And we've like, watched he's him done grow shit up with on K Shine, like yeah, ESPN, yeah, yeah. like he and he he, he he's great bro, and he's, freestyles whole round. He got in, given in they, front of a Webster gave him a Hall. role on Raising Canaan where he's just on a stage rapping in like the background of a scene. I didn't even know that. Dog. Oh, he's got yeah. He's gotten multiple really fire looks. DNA is a fucking legend, bro. Even finishing that Diz thought too, though. The point is the, the you know the, of the tangent, but the point is is Asas he Asasino was the biggest of the big in that arena where they sell out. He's god you know, in Mexico, and bro. Yeah. and and Diz brought him to L.A. And said, okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one round in Spanish. Diz don't speak Nate Spanish. He, he learned, learned it, it for, for this battle. battle. He's like, we're gonna do one round of Spanish, one round in English, one and then mix. one one mixed round. You can do whatever. Yeah. yeah. What and the hell? and I was there in the building for it, and it was insane. It was and I'm like, lit. and I and I, I looked at it and I said, no one else could do this. Nope. Yeah. Now I want to do it at some point, but like I want to also make it clear, it's like he did it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was inspiring. That's and insane. he did it in front. This crowd was predominant. Like by the time it was, Asazino- it was in L.A., which is where Diz is from. And it, Diz was the away team, bro. This dude, Asasino, it, like, same it thing was, as when he battled the Oxy Miro on the Russian. Yeah, right, it was right. in LA, but the crowd it was two thousand Russian fans. Like yeah. Diz has this insane ability of d- battling these guys who are bigger than the moment itself, even in that region, making it to where it's in his home, but still a away, an away game for him, and he still, and he still puts performs. on these like vintage, bro. Yeah, he's, and he's that's so why special, the face man. because then he pulls from that Everywhere. crowd that was there for his opponent. And they're like, I respect that. Yeah. Now yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, his 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 shit grows. Because- I feel, I feel like anybody who's like a fan of battle rap has gone through their Diz era. Oh, hundred percent. You like this can- is like the cannabis of battle rap. Like I went through a cannabis phase. All the best MCs I know went through you, a cannabis yeah. phase yeah, yeah, where yeah. it was like. What he 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 said the word you know cere- <laughs> like, like he said cerebral the, cortex he, he said the word t- tetrahedron tetra <laughs> a tetrahedron bro like look look yeah here's how you know my cannabis phase I'm gonna spit some bars you ready yes this is an actual lyric I wrote that wow. when I was like 16 that I remember and I don't remember the end of it but I remember enough that okay. you'll get who's the influence. <clears throat> My cerebral cortex is enormous, <laughs> large enough to harness supernatural forces and create a vortex large enough to engulf the whole planet's orbit. Uh. The lyrical Vulcan ignite your mics to flames whenever I start talking, metaphorically bombing in atomic proportions, often mastering all aspects in this art of spitboxing and utilize the techniques to beat MCs. These weak MCs frequently have idiosyncrasies that sound weak to me. I'm an elite MC of another species from another region speaking ingeniously. A Supreme being you see in meditation, levitating, separating your neck from your head like segregation. What? Don't remember how I ended the verse, but I was 16 what? when I wrote yeah. that. 16? And it was obvious who I was listening Very to at that point. Words. <laughs> Just oh, words. Oh, yeah. Words, oh, yeah. but they all are cortex, together. The vortex. Yeah. And that's how the I read the, the cortex. Yeah. Is yeah. Nor- and then I'd be like, sound good. Yeah. <laughs> sound good. That was the crew I was like, hey, yo, sound good. Ill Mac. Shout out Sound God. Shout out Stalemate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Dude, that somewhere praising God right now, man. Shout out Stale. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. What a... That, that, is, that is insane. So, what, what, that, so that's the cannabis phase. Yeah. And, and you could use that as a segue if you want to <laughs> watch it because we keep <laughs> <laughs> we get, uh, watching nah, the I, I mean, at this point, he pulls out a notepad and he looks at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. Yo, then they sold merch minutes. from it where it was like, I had a notebook that was oh, cannabis. Yeah, somebody made notebook. a cannabis's notebook from like, that. There's probably 30 pages in it, too. But. 
I got 30 pounds. I remember Diz Classic actually. with his shirt behind his head in the background. Uh, uh, Diz got next. the actual notepad. Like, really? At the end of the battle. I remember I linked up with him to smoke after the battle had happened. And he was like happy but frustrated because it's. Oh, he looked in. He it, looked Because he mad. killed him, it but then so, it was like. Ex- I feel like I'm putting my own dog to. fucking up. He knew his You're throwing me off. Yeah, it's like his he moment. He was like screaming that between. Rooms. I mean, it's it's. His, I get it too because it's it's his moment, especially at that point. He this is the yeah. biggest thing that's ever happened to him battle wise. This talking far. to cannabis was like uh, me talking to myself <laughs> that same night. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking up the battle. <laughs> you're you're, bl- you're ruining, Just drinks your in. ruining the moment for all of us. Diz talking to cannabis is my inner monologue during my battle. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely pleased. Uh, yeah, I mean, that it. it I remember. He, he, yeah, I remember he what it was. Dismantled a legend in front of all of our yeah, yeah. and 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 cannabis was a moment. was a legend at that time. Like I mean, still is like. Like you can't. I'll always pay Agreed. homage, like I just did. And he was an absolute legend. I, you know, look, I, I wasn't that deep into underground when I heard cannabis, and when I heard him, I low key, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is backwards as it sounds. Listen, hearing cannabis put me on Rakim, and I had a Rakim CD when I was uh, thirteen or whatever it was. You can grab a couple of them. If you want. Gifted the eighteenth letter. And I just didn't listen to it. It was like too rappy for me. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, I, was, I was listening to Jay Z, DMX, Met the Man, to Cal 2000. Uh, it's dark and hell is hot. Uh, uh, Life and Times Volume Two, out, and and all this shit. And it was like, oh, this is like extra hip hop. It was a double yeah. disc, old school shit, and the new album. Anyways, long story short, then I listened to Cannabis, and um, it was a song on 2001 BC or whatever. And then he had a song where 2000 BC, and he had a song. With Rock Kim, and I was like, "Yo, that's a CD I used to have." And then I heard it. I'm like, I remember he listened to him. Like, I've never heard words like that yeah. rapped. And, yeah, then, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden, it like explode. I heard underground hip hop before, but it was like exploded my mind on yeah, a dog. new punchline, mm-hmm. sort of like deeper level of rap that I hadn't previously understood. Same. First and time I, I heard Biss, it changed everything. Yeah. And, and it me. wasn't his first album. It was 2000 BC. I went back to the first album. I heard wow. first shit I heard was, was some like DJ Clue shit. It was a, like a cannabis verse from DJ Clue. With the, and it's a famous line to this day when he said, every word I utter for hip-hop lovers will reflect forever like two mirrors facing each other. And I was like, <laughs> it was like still, 96. Still 100 what? bars is Nine, crazy. And I just remember being like, what yeah. just happened? I need everything this guy I has I still ever think made. 2000 BC is better than the first album, but everyone kind of, I feel like a lot of people just, Channel but like Zero? He just was rapping me? insane. Channel Zero was fire. He was rapping insane. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, like on stuff, Can I Bust? It, it was, again, it was Can just I bust something was that album. I hadn't, hadn't experienced as a possibility facts. Yeah. before yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it, it wasn't like it was the end all be all, but for a time it was. And then it just expanded my mind of like, you can really do anything with this. Yeah, like it low yeah, key, yeah. like my cannabis phase is one of my most influential, not just for like, because I rap like that now or the style, but just in expanding my mind to say, no one's that I seen had ever done these things or said these words or you can really do anything. There's got to be more out there. Is how you, I, yeah, I was just like, like oh, yo, you can do anything. Yeah, especially yeah. growing up like on the West Coast, where uh, we were obviously exposed to like so much of the California mainstream and the Chronic, which obviously is super dope to be an influence to begin with, but. Like hearing cannabis's content kicked so many walls down of just like you're saying, like, wait, you can do that here? Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, I need to know about more people that are doing yeah. shit like this and not just what my regional buy or what yeah. I'm accessing like in yeah. the, this little niche that I'm in, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was so already insane. like reading the dictionary, like in in um like in high school I was I went with a thesaurus. Read, I, 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 <laughs> that's insane. Uh, I was already reading the dictionary, uh, but like, so we had, I don't know, I, I feel like other people had the SSR, like, oh, 20 minute silent sustained reading. I feel like it was on, okay. I don't know if it's three days a week or if it was every day. I don't, I don't and know. And you're just the but, dictionary. But yeah, and, and, and to where, you know, teachers would press me like, you're not even reading 
probably doing something, you know what I mean? But I have, I'd have a piece of paper and I'd write words down, but it wasn't about writing the biggest words down. So I can't, I feel like it was no can do. I might be giving false credit, uh, because we did a workout with Avocado about a month ago, and you know he's in my good graces right now. But uh, I, I heard out, I heard a freestyle battle battle, and I I feel like her it is either awkward or no can. Okay. Um, it might have been awkward, but which is another one of the best freestylers of all Facts. time to me that I've witnessed create Facts. genius that I could both never of them do. awkward yeah. and, and no can and do. no can both of them one hundred percent I'd probably put them right behind literally Juice. next I, to each other I, I, yeah. like the top five they're, they're literally on right it. next to each other anyway yeah. so so I heard one of them break down back in the day and it's what inspired me um because I we all know what vocabulary means but it was it might have been awkward but anyways he what he said was uh. There's a difference between your vocabulary and your word bank. Yeah. So your vocabulary is words you know. Your word bank is words you use. Yeah. So what I try to do, and this is all quotes. I'm not saying me, but what, what, me paraphrasing what I heard them say. So what I try to do is always daily increase my word bank a little bit. Because when I go to freestyle, you don't go to your vocabulary. You yeah. go to your word bank. And that's why everybody sounds so repetitive when they freestyle. But if I can increase my word bank, and every time I increase my word bank, I'm essentially freestyling. Because if I walk down the street, and, and this is why it makes me think it was awkward, but I might just be like melding two different ideas together because they make sense. But uh, uh, awkward, I do remember saying specifically, if I'm walking down the street one day, and I see a battle axe. <laughs> yeah. In my head, I think, oh, that's a good word. What does it rhyme with? Cadillac. Uh, you know, I don't remember. Ladder match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, his, his, his word bank his is word bank. <laughs> It's working. It's working over I just time. know what awkwards <laughs> would rhyme battle axe with. And Yo, ladder yeah, match ladder is match, definitely exactly. there. So yeah. let's have a ladder match. And, and, but like saying? he gave this the dumbest example. And it was just like, oh, like if I'm walking down the street and I just see a battle axe, I think, what would that rhyme with? Yeah. And then the next time I'm freestyling. It's automatic. That can like come and yeah, it's part yeah. of my word bank now. So so I looked at that and I was like, well, I want to read the dictionary, but it's not for big words that people don't understand. It's more so for words that just sound cool that I don't use enough that might not that yeah. are in my vocabulary, but not in my word yeah, bank. Okay. So like what I would go through alphabetically every day. So I started at A, yeah. and like for some reason the example I always say because I've reference this a little bit in another was was like auxiliary as an example it's a word i know and it's a word i knew when i read in the dictionary but i'm like that's a cool word though yeah. that i could rhyme that with just artillery and, uh -huh. you know what i mean whatever lmc soliloquy whatever yeah. it is but that that is what i did in all throughout high school and and it was in the effort to push toward the free like new words freestyle and in 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 the writing and I have like whole notebooks that are just filled with words and but not it was never that about rhymes. the biggest yeah. words that people would never know it's just about those just words that are just it. outside your word bank but yeah. that are obviously in your vocabulary. I like low key did something similar, but with the thesaurus when I first started freestyling, and this was before my name was even thesaurus. I was still my first rap name was MC Source S, S O U R C E, which then became I was Lil G P. Wow! <laughs> it went from MC Source to the Source to the Saurus, just making to the Saurus <laughs> in terms but, of battle rap punchline. But I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I remember like it. It started because when I first started freestyling, I would always have the same handful of like fallback words. And it was like, okay, well, if that's where my brain's going, let me come up with different ways of saying these things that I know my brain sort of default lands on. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay, what are the words that I'm overusing? Now here's 10 different examples of that mm. word that I'm overusing. So I'm no longer yeah. beating this one word to absolute death. And then that's basically... 
how how it all sort of That's fell into crazy. place. It's it's real I wild. I, I, I even knew that. That's, and then yeah, and then of course like this was around when Source magazine was super popping, and I was just like, well, fuck, I'm not gonna be able to like the Source. Be I, the Source. Yeah. I'll, I'll get owned, you know. So I'm like, let's make the it, Source to get four mics. Let's I make it. Four side let's make it an mic. even. <laughs> let's make it an even more well known publication than the Source magazine, and change yeah. it to the Source. The Source. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> But by making it two words to make it like the play on words or whatever. But yeah, yeah so yeah. many people don't know that it was initially. And, and, and the people source. always compared it to like a dinosaurs. I remember. Always. Like, oh, like yo, like, if, yo, if, if, when I go back home to Monterey, like in Cali and see my homies, everyone calls me source. Source. Like, what up, source? It's absurd. And I'm. it's the only place that that happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone source. else knows me as thesaurus, but it's. <laughs> my source. You're my appreciate you. You always <laughs> have been. <laughs> I've always been my source. <laughs> You mean when you come to Vegas or Yeah, this guy so in Vegas. You know, you've ever if you're ever in Vegas, <laughs> you ever need or perusing the something dark outside web. <laughs> what you can get in conventional society? The source. This is your guy. <laughs> the source. This is, yeah. I Think happen to be Silk the source. Road. But ill flows. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um in uh, in hot I, I watch I watch a lot of hot ones, the uh, the interview oh, series. Bro. And uh, they did one with Gordon Ramsay. And people were very, very surprised that Gordon Ramsay, you know, goes what to What would you eight. rhyme with Gordon Ramsay? Uh, right now. Orphan family. Damn. Um, uh, orphan Annie is actually probably <laughs> what I would rhyme. <laughs> orphan <laughs> Annie. Orphan. Okay, okay, my bad. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morgan Stanley. <laughs> Ooh, Damn. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Clear what I learned to read on. Berenstein, yeah. She would have said stain. Yeah, she would have. My mom's not illiterate. Yeah. What, just because she's a brown woman, you think she's ignorant? <laughs> you think just because she's Mexican and native, <laughs> half and half, that, that she's just illiterate and wouldn't pronounce the Who is he the, talking the to? Who, who out there who? made this accusation? Yeah, somebody. 